Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm John Ramos, the voice of NR, and we are getting ready to gear up for some great racing. We're back home in Indiana, and for the first time in a long time, IndyCar is headlining an NR night Tuesday night edition, but that doesn't mean we're going to be looking back on some things, maybe fondly. A lot of excitement is heading forward. A rumored e-ticket event is coming forward. An Indiana 500 may be happening in the month of May. And as we get ready to gear up, 60 drivers go for 43 spots for 75 laps. Tonight's all about IndyCar. From the Indy Oval to Long Beach to Gateway and all the way up there in Road America. Four great races guaranteed tonight. We do get a race five if we see 300 lights. So without further ado, let's sit trackside and watch them clock in over 230 into one as qualifying will bump out many, but 43 will see the green flag. Ethan Stanley, Drake Berry, Matt Hummel, Chase Schaefer onto the racing surface. They're getting ready to rock and roll. Justin Champagne, not known for being an open wheel specialist, mostly known for his short track, intermediates, and super speedway races that he looks on fondly of finding the checkered flag in. Justin Champagne's never gotten a win in an open wheel machine. That could change tonight. James Thurston ripping down off turn two. He's one you have to keep an eye out for because he is going to be quick, and we all know about that. Castro Neves, no time just yet. Lane Sanders looking for his first bump. Dale Greenwood, Daniel Mosteller, Nathan McLaughlin, Gavin Austin. Austin across the line goes eighth. David Joyner goes 12th. We're still looking for James Thurston and Chad Hornish to see the checkered flag and the start finish line to complete either their first, maybe last lap. Qualifying's underway. We will see 75 laps in race one, race two, three, and four. It will depend on how long the races go on. But there's some differences tonight that you will not see in an NR night in America. Let's start with the first one. No overtime. 75 laps to go means 75 laps to go. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. How about Mauricio Ramos there in 19, throwing his way around the racetrack. Three wide start, that's right. We're gonna go three by three by three by three. No fast repairs. A worry for so many, you expect to see a lot of drivers pit starting. And the big thing about it is, last time I went to Indy Oval with these cars, we ended the race under yellow. Matthew Brower, Riker Byram, Justin Champagne clock it in. And who looks to go home? Jordan Herring is on the outside looking in. Three tenths quicker in sector two. Should bump him in to at least 43. He's in. He goes 38. Tobias Matheson on the bubble. He's 42nd. Oh, Ostinar, Justin, barely, Xander McKinney back on the racetrack with a minute 30 remaining, and he's outside. He sits 44th. Derek Johnson sits 47th. No time yet out of the Ethan Stanley 91. Here's a driver you expect to qualify in and go for the race win, should we say. He sits well outside the 50s. Ethan Stanley on the board. This is his second lap of 39. Is it getting him? Yes, he does. A 12th place starting spot for the driver of the number 91. Here's Landon Gentry sitting 53rd. Outside looking in bump day. A worry for so many with one minute left on the clock. Gentry tracking in the green. Track purple. 53rd. Is that where he's going to sit? That's where they say he's not moving. Probably Richard. 52nd. And a driver that almost got his first ever win in NR Night in America just a couple weeks ago at Bristol. On the bubble, tracking, moving, looking. 52nd, does it work out for him? Richard across the line, needs 43rd. Don't think they're gonna give him anything. He sits 52nd, Kevin Champagne. He's gonna need a hurry and quickly no time just yet out of him. If he can get back to the start finish line, he may be able to make the show. It's gonna be close. Sitting at 57th with a driver from the Northeast. 
Kevin Champagne, so many wins in at our night in America. Looking to cap off March with a great run. Doesn't get back in time. They're calling it. Kevin Champagne will not qualify into the Indianapolis race tonight. So 43 drivers look to take the green flag. Chase Schaefer, James Thurston, Josh Lilly, Aiden Walker, Marty Shamela, and so many others will line up and we'll be ready to go green. Happy Tuesday night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this open wheel edition of Van Art Night in America. Underdog stories. Well, they could be on the lookout. Josh Kenyon sits ninth. River Page has been strong. He's going to start out six. But Aiden Walker was the driver that found victory lane last time we rolled with this car track combo. Once again, it did enter yellow. But that's something you have to keep an eye out for. Does it change at any point in time? Do we get back to the green flag? Or should we say the checkered flag tonight? Well, how about what you all think? Who's going to win? I think Ethan Stanley's going to be very bold, very tough. He starts 12th. He's got a lot of history here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I think Andrew Cootie may be able to make something work. Dudes Castro Neves, the nephew to Elio Castro Neves, first center night race in well over a year. He starts eighth. Chad Thurnquist, River Page. Talked about Walker. I think James Thurston is going to be very tough to beat. Marty Shamela, Riker Byram. Racing in NR Night, it's not like anything you've seen on iRacing. Throw the open wheels in it, and it's as unique as you can find. Let's get ready to go green as Honda and Chevrolet get ready to roll off into turn one, and in a couple laps, we will be green. Happy Tuesday night, ladies and gentlemen. We will be back this Friday night for NR Night in America. But tonight, it's all about should we do an e-ticket with this car track combo? Do you all really want an e-ticket event with IndyCars at Indianapolis? Well, I think tonight we'll go ahead and show the world if it is possible. Roll it off, ladies and gentlemen. Next time by the one to go. Let's go ahead and say those magical words. God, speed, drivers. You are go for throttle up. 60 drivers work their way to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Only 43 will be taking the green fly. You may be saying only. Does it the Indy 500 allow 33? Well, we know things sometimes don't go to plan in NR Night in America, so you always have to be on your toes. Thomas Grant dropping two $1 Super Chats. Very thankful for that indeed as we go in and say, those magical words. God, speed, drivers. You are go for throttle up. It's showtime right here. For some of these drivers, it's now not their first time doing this. For others, they saw what happened a couple months ago. They realized, okay, being calm, being smart, staying in position, Oh, it'll get you to that checkered flag. Being bold early on, maybe not so. Turn one, lap one will be the most insignificant lap of this race. But it may be one of the most exciting corners when we roll our way on through. The lights heading off this time by. Let's get ready to roll. Josh Lilly. Everyone's favorite underdog. A community event winner. Won the 2.4 hours of Daytona the truck class. Has not won since, but it's always on everyone's radar heading into an e-ticket event. The Alabama 500 will be live April 19th on this YouTube channel where Josh looks to go for his first e-ticket event win. But he knows the month of May could have an e-ticket with this car track combo. So how do you prepare for it? Win right here right now 43 drivers there'll be 42 others that don't find victory lane you don't want to be any of those dudes castro neves starting in eighth andrew cootie in tenth he is an e-ticket event champion and he also seems to win the races in our night in america that no one expects him to win 
No one had him on the cards for Eldora when he got the win in the trunks. And he was strong in the open wheel class when we last came here. If he can keep the wings pointed in the right direction, Andrew Cooney will be a tough driver to beat. And Chase Schaefer has been a talk of the town for a couple different things in NR Night in America. Racing etiquette. Well, he's going to need a lot of etiquette tonight to find victory lane. Does it roll in the 99's favor? Only time will tell. Crowd on their feet as 43 drivers line up two by two. Originally was supposed to be a three wide start. They want to save as many cars as possible to make it to the end. So as the pace car makes the hard left on the pit road and every virtual seat is empty here from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, we say let's go ahead and scream back home again in Indiana as we light the fuse from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Wreck in the rear, no worry. Oh, there they go. Dudes Castro Neves and so many others already into turn one. Go around and the caution's going to wave. We just talked about how insignificant that first corner is. You just have to tiptoe through, and the race really starts coming off turn two. You saw some guys not get it going towards the back half of the field. And 43 took the green flag. We may have already taken 10 out. Didn't take long for things to go bleak here from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Let's go see what happened. You saw how aggressive they got just right off the gun. Ethan Stanley, I'm pretty sure not too pleased about that one. Uh, it's just a checkup on the inside lane. You could just see it right from the from the gun. Andrew Cootie on the outside lane. Dudes Castro Neves on the bottom. I think it was checking up for. I believe that it will be the Chad Thurnquist machine, and he was, and Josh Kenny was just not on the brakes. That looked to all be on Kenny. You saw what happened towards the back half of the field. Right from the start. And that would be Dale Greenwood just running right in the back end. So penalties will be already very common in the opening stages of this race. As for Dudes Castro Nevis, Josh Kenny, and others. Not looking likely they'll find victory lane. So under the caution flag to start this race. And we are getting word L5 for Dale Greenwood. And it looks to be an L5 for Ken. Oh, that took no time to go ahead and get wild. Josh Lilly will now be formed in the third position. Andrew Cootie will go back to eighth. Matthew Browers in 15th. Yahir Rodriguez in pit road is a busy one. You look all the up and down. Dudes Castro Neves is in. Milano is in. Ash Ridge. Daniel Mosteller was involved in it. We didn't even see Demos at all on screen, but he is absolutely just destroyed here on the nose. Wow. Unbelievable. Milano, Delgado. Wow. Things got wild and in a hurry. So we'll get the one to go this time by as now silence falls over the racetrack. And we will be ready to try it again. The one to go. So now it's a single file restart. You know, you didn't expect to have a single file restart right from the gun. 
but here is how we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, the one to go. Let's go green. Schaefer, Thurston, Lillian, Shamela, the fast four. And correction, it was not Dale Greenwood that ran the back of someone. That was another driver, Dale Greenwood, allowed to continue racing. So apologies for that. Well, a rough start here at Indy. So a 75 lap race is gonna be quickly turning into a 71 lap race. Pace car hard left on a pit road as we get ready to go green. Back underway from Indy. Thurston P2 already looking for the overtake. Slots to the inside of Schaefer. A lot of separation out of guys who just want to get to the end of this race. Chad Thurquist in tow, the old River Page. Thurston, top of the board. Put Schaefer back to second. Marty Shamela wants it on for third. First lap complete under full saw, and it's a drag race. Back to the bricks. Schaefer leads that one on the outside. Shamela in third, Lily in fourth. We had a wheel for the top four spots. Maybe even six, Walker and Page. Starting to dice it out. Page in tow. Chad Thurquist up to the outside. Now they're really getting tied up front. And these are the drivers that experienced that first wreck. Schaefer slots to the bottom, Thurston back to the outside. The entire field rolls its way off for Chase Schaefer. Another lap led, but it's maybe about 10 machines deep, under a second for the lead. Honda and Chevrolet. One, two, down the back. Man, that's a tight move there for Thurston. Slots out of line, jumps to the bottom. Put Schaefer in lane two, up with Josh Lilly. In this top six and top seven, they have a lot of confidence with each other. They have no problem going wheel to wheel. It's the drivers towards the back half of the field that consistently run into issues. Look at this, four wide for the lead, was Lilly on the outside, and Shamela guns it to the bottom. Top of the board, Marty Shamela. And Schaefer is now just crawling back on that outside. Opens the wall up for Josh Lilly. Three wide looking. Thurston in fourth. Walker in six. And I'm going to watch the Aiden Walker machine a lot here tonight because I honestly think he's going to be the guy that's going to get it done once again. It's either going to be him or James Thurston. He knows how to watch and he can just spell trouble before it happens to bail out of the way. Up the cut goes third quest and he may have gotten him at the line. Another tight move for the six. I'm just surprised that after seeing that wreck in front of him off lap one, he didn't want to take a conservative approach. And he has now dropped to the inside. Schaefer on the outside. Chad Thurnquist will drop to that second spot. Here comes Cootie. He's up the fifth. And Justin Champagne cracks open the top six. What a move for him. Shuffling. Swing, one outside wall, Yahi Rodriguez. 
He should be able to get to the bottom without a problem. And he does. We stay green. Champagne, the man on the move. He's up the fourth. Schaefer in second. Thurnquist, your leader. And they can finally calm it down. For the time being, maybe not. Look at the three-wide move. Champagne wanted the two for one, but he gets none. Yeah, you just saw Chad Thurnquist read that one like a book. Same with Chase Schaefer. They were not going to allow that 18 to make that bold of a move. But they're not going to be able to stop him now. Champagne across the line. New race leader from Indy. Thurston at one point was the leader. He's back to ninth. Drake Barry is back in eighth. Riker Byram, Gavin Austin, Ada Walker, top 12. It's just so poetic how they continue to move and dice it out inches apart from each other. Schaefer on the brink. Third twist ripping top. And out of all this confusion and all this shuffling of the deck, Josh Lilly has not left the fast four. Matter of fact, he's going for the lead. Lily to the bottom, three wide, Thornquist had a bailout. Allows David Joyner to close on in, he's up to six. Shamela Thurston, Gavin Austin, Drake Barry, Riker Byram, Aiden Walker, River Page, Nathan McLaughlin. Schaefer to the outside. Champagne back to third, Cooney sits in fourth. And how about Josh Lilly? I mean, just something about him. He just knows how to put himself up front and get it done. He may have struggle and pressure from the outside lane boiling up, but the confidence out of that Red Bull unmatched. Moody three wide to the shoot of one and two. Gavin Austin to ninth. Barry to 11th. Page back in 13th. Kendall Carpenter in 20th. You're watching Open Wheel Racing in NR Night in America. Cootie hanging it tough on the outside. He's at the bailout heading to turn four. He's going to lose a lot of speed off exit if he wanted to stick up there. But Justin Champagne has a new approach. He wants the lead and he's going to get it. Top 11 drivers under a full second. And nearly three of them just hit the wall. That was dicey, inches off. Riding on with Chad Thurquist. Outside, inside. Shuffling through, James Thurston. At one point he was back there at ninth, and he's ready to climb his way, hopefully back to the lead. There are 14 laps in already. This race is going by. Quick, and I mean very quick. Coming to 61 laps to go. We started this race thinking, oh no, it's gonna be one of those races. And it quickly turned into not. And very quickly, should we say, we had a little action, a lot of passing, a lot of changes for the lead. Andrew Cootie now top of the board, exiting turn two. But what could have been if there just wasn't that big wreck early on? And I think open wheel racing, just like stock car racing in NR Night in America, very much a game of question, a game of curiosity of what's going to happen next. You can have caution after caution, but you could also have nothing but green flag racing and a fight back to the bricks. Schaefer top gets it by a car lane. He leads once again. He has led the most laps in this race, but the pressure from behind continues to build up. I look past this top 15, top 20. I look back at drivers like Mitchell Armstrong just riding around. Mauricio Marquez Ramos back in 26. Jordan Herring hanging out. And I like the idea because it takes one mistake out of a driver running in the fast four to absolutely ruin most of driver's night running up inside the top 20. Now, yes, we have Long Beach, we have Gateway, we have Road America to come, but who doesn't want to win in Indy? Well, no overtime, but as you know, aggression boils up and reaches a peak 
Coming to 10 to go, nine to go, eight to go. And just like a beaker, when you overflow it, it's gotta go somewhere. And trouble could be on the horizon for those guys. They say, let trouble brew. I'll be there at the end. Can't take it like a stock car race. There is no green white checkers. Once that checker flag waves, it's over. We could have a one lap shootout, a two lap shootout, even a three lap shootout. Who says the 59 laps to go, we can't go green all the way through. And pit strategy starts boiling in and becomes a main stake of this race. Once again, the uncertainty of racing in NR Night in America. Schaefer, Champagne, Cootie, and Shamela. That's your fast four. Running on James Thurston. He sits there, he's sitting there in fifth. He's thinking to himself, it's calmed down, but the tire wear is starting to become a little bit of an effect. Now, dirty air was a talking point in the driver's meeting. Hey, could affect us once again. I said, it didn't affect you two months ago unless we're racing at Homestead. Indy, you still remember they make passes. If you're struggling with dirty air, practice on it. Well, you're worried about when tires go bleak. Three wide again across the stripe. And it's all Shamarty Shamela leading to turn one. I think it's going to become an issue in about 10 laps. And that's where drivers are going to be thinking undercut, overcut. But as you know, most of the time when the Indianapolis 500 runs, the opportunity in question of a fuel lottery comes into effect. Who can be the smartest to find their way to victory lane? Because sometimes speed does not carry you all the way. Cootie in fourth. Shamela in third. Justin, slingshot bottom, gets blocked, jumps back to the outside. Lot traffic. Schaefer holds it to turn one. Bravo by the lap machine on the inside just to get out of the way. Mitchell Armstrong, 24, battling on his own. Chad Hornish also on his own. No help from behind. James Thurston to fifth. Three cars under a blanket for the lead to turn three. Champagne slices bottom. Schaefer looks top. Marty Shamela. Daylight top side, daylight inside, but he's gonna ride back nose to tail. 55 to go. They're starting to spread out big time, and now some of these guys are thinking just staying in line. Riker Byram in a beautiful Pepsi machine on the inside. David Joyner in seventh. He's a driver to watch out for too. Some weren't happy after Daytona about a week ago from his wreck. Some say he has a shot of finding victory lane if he can just keep, oh, Andrew Cootie off the nose of Justin Champagne. What a save out of the Napa 9. Wow. And could have been a caution. We're looking, we're seeing, is there any damage possibly on his car? Riding on the nose of Chad Hornis, the worry is the left and right rear. Now from this far back, we're not going to be able to tell. The right rear suspension. Looks to be in working shape. Wow. Watch that again. On the replay. He looked to the bottom. He had champagne on his outside. He had Schaefer on his outside. And Justin just runs right in the back end of him. And how that night machine did not just work its way back up the track, no idea. Bravo to Andrew Cooney to keep it pointed in the right direction. But now he's getting a caution. He's back in that 20th position as Justin Champagne and Chase Schaefer lead the way to turn three. Unreal save. Schaefer on the outside, Justin on the bottom. Here comes James Thurston, looking for a way through. Another Pepsi driver, Gavin Austin. The outside lane, looking back to the bottom. He's just thinking, looking, peeking, wondering what's it gonna be. Chad Thurnquist back there in eighth. They're all single filed out. Andrew Cootie's only three seconds off the pace. 
While nine drivers are under a second, I don't think it's over for him just yet. With how aggressive they have been up front, something has to happen. And that's where we spark the question for the viewers back at home. Do we end under yellow here from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway? Because it's possible. It's happened before. But it's only ever happened once in an IndyCar race in at our night. Chicagoland, Homestead, all the ovals we've been to have either had an overtime or ended under green flag conditions. And looking at the line chat, half seem to be split on it. Schaefer in second, Gavin Austin in fourth. Thurston in third on the outside lane. What a race, what a ride. Back home in Indiana. Champagne on the outside. Gavin Austin, the driver from Tucson, Arizona, on the inside lane. Thurnquist seventh, Barry in eighth. Riding all of River Page. And he's calm right now, sitting in 10th. He went up there and battled for the lead a little bit, but it wasn't enough to really point the eyes and say, hey, this is going to be a tough contender. We're now 25 laps into this running. I'm starting to wonder if some of those guys back there are just thinking about their tires. Because for sure, the way they've been dicing it out, that rubber has got to be kicked up and chewed up. So far for the top five, top seven, top ten, it's business as usual. Andrew Cootie has risen up to 14th. He's already making his way to this field. I think it's because the lap times. Oh, trouble in the back. That may be Hornish. Hornish and Brower go around, and the caution's going to wave. Justin Champagne, Chase Schaefer, Gavin Austin. All we'll come to a slow. And what was Matthew Brower thinking? Back there, I'm not sure if it was on him or not. It looked like it, the way the wreck happened. Yeah, he came way down. I just saw the replay before everyone else. And for Chad Hornish, his race looks to be completely over. Watch right here. Power on the outside. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Let's see it again. Unless he got loose. Uh, that's an, a wreck that's very easily avoidable. And with oncoming traffic, the caution was thrown before the drivers got off the racing surface. Pit road, it's wide open for Schaefer, for Champagne. It's an opportunity to get the freshies and continue to duel it out like gladiators in a ring. For others, still scratching their head and there's one around. Kevin Austin, Chad Thurquist, they've wrecked coming on to pit road. Oh my. Unbelievable. I am speechless. Chad Thurnquist, Gavin Austin, two heavy contenders involved coming into the pits. And it started with Chase Schaefer, who spun the tires coming down in. Wow. That is unreal. He gassed it up to come down to pit road. And just jammed on the brakes. With no one else. 
really with any idea of what to do next. His race may be done. You look at the nose and that's it. Chase Schaefer is out of Indianapolis after that incident. Drama continues to boil up here for the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm John Ramos, the voice of NR, ladies and gentlemen. We'll get ready for a restart, but for some strong contenders, they're now out after an incident under yellow. That is unreal. 46 laps to go when we get the one. We're back underway with 45 laps remaining from Indianapolis. Trey Berry goes to third, Marty Shamela goes to fourth, James Thurston goes to second. And we will be ready to go back green. Chapter, this is Gavin Austin. Uh, they have to be scratching their heads on how you make that mistake. Gavin still in the pits. We're gonna get work done to his machine, but you see the entire left side all opened up to get work on it. This is Indy, this is now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready to go green. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, 300 likes. We will see race number five, where you, the viewers, get to vote on where we go. Forty-five laps to go back home. Champagne blinking on the inside. Thirst into the outside. Running on with David Joyner. Champagne up the middle, Drake Berry. Two wins in at our night in America. Both those wins came off a last lap pass. He sits in fourth, minding and waiting. Shamela to the bottom. Nose to tail. River Page, Cooper Phillips, Andrew Cooney, Josh Lilly. All in tow, a swoop to the bottom. Shamela, the two for one, and locks it in. Back to the bottom. Page, Phillips, Joyner, looking for a move. Drake Perry says thank you very much. New race leader from Indy. Aiden Walker sits in six with 43 laps to go. Perry to the bottom. Shamela was top but holds on back to turn three. A lot of these guys are now very skeptical. They know things can happen at the most, let's say, random times. A wreck on pit road, a wreck in the back that prompted a yellow. How aggressive do you get before you go overboard? But Drake Barry, he's loving what he sees. Winless in 2023. Looking for a win in 2024. And there's Andrew Cooney. To the inside of Thurston, wheel to wheel. Yeah, he's number one at Indian and our night in America. And he's taking a vet winner, won the 2023 Daytona 500. Now up inside the top 10, 
with an opportunity. Barry downstairs, Shamela top. Champagne lunges to the inside wall, but he's gonna take the lead at turn one. And then Alex Barry just looking back at his mirror and saying, I'm not gonna contest that. No point in contesting that whatsoever. Joiner inside, slots in line, a taker to the bottom. That's the 39. The MCM driver to second, wants to fight for the lead off four. Walker in seventh, Phillips in eighth. David Joyner in six, three wide, Cootie on the bottom. How about Drake Barry? Still sitting there, we have to consistently speak on him. Looks top side with David Joyner. Shamela on the bottom, Andrew Cudi in tow. Battle for the lead. Head into the shoot of three and four. And they're gonna continue to change the lead left to the right, it's gonna be complete clockwork. But who's gonna be there in 39 laps? to take the checkered flag first. If I'm Shamela and I'm Cootie right now, I'm watching everything Justin Champagne does. Because that's the third time now he's been able to reach turn one by just waiting back and running to the inside wall. Something is going to happen on the last lap if Champagne is in play and he continues to deal the cards he is just frequently dealt. Lane Sanders outside wall. Big hit to the right side of that machine. And he may be out of this Indianapolis race. Did not make it through qualifying the first time he went here back in January. Now, he, well, made the race, but doesn't want to go ahead and finish it. Thurston Phillips, Cooper Phillips, looking for his first win in NR9 America. Underdog stories, always in hand when we race with the Indy cars. Nobody knew of Zachary Truel, and then he went back to back from a win at Iowa and a win at Nashville. Cootie top side, Phillips on the bottom. And how about Aka Buiz? Went wheel to wheel with Dylan Mason. Names are made in Indy. And with 37 laps to go, someone will have their name added to that list. Aiden Walker already added his name in there. That was the last time he went with this contract combo. Here's James Thurston. Thurston in seventh. Oh, really slowing it back. Conserving what they have. Phillips to the top. Phillips to the point. Jamela to the inside, three wide at the line, and he gets it. I'm just saying right now, it's gonna probably come down to a move like that unless the driver in the middle goes for a crazy block to the inside. Walker in six, Page in eighth. Lily back to 10th, more wheel to wheel racing from Mitchell Armstrong. Landon Gentry, Kendall Carpenter, all lined up and just looking for something to work. Phillips and Shamela. Marty on the bottom. Phillips on the outside. David Joyner thought about creeping through the middle. Does it now, but won't get back to the bricks. 35 to do it. You're coming down to the end of this race. This is where you start thinking, okay, go time's coming, and very quickly, Hunter East back in ninth, Josh Lilly back in 12th, Drake Barry has dropped back to 11th. When do you put yourself in position to go for the win? Is it 15 to go? Will they have to come to pit road? Well, there's a wreck up front that sparks an issue. And then you would just tell yourself if you're in it, oh, if I just would have waited. Shamela, Phillips, Joyner, and Cootie. 34 to go. 
Phillips thinking of a squeeze. Aiden Walker back in seventh, needing that forward momentum to carry his way. And Cootie's looking back up the middle. The big thing is, notice these guys race stock cars. They're used to the stock car side of Venernite. So how things work now, not very different than what most are used to. Joiner in the middle. Jamela on the bottom. Cootie in fourth. Gentry, P7. Oh, that's another one. That's looking for his first win in a long time. Last time, Landon Gentry won an inner night, 2021. He sits seventh. Look back here to Barry and some of these other guys. The race pace has definitely dropped off significantly. And a 17 car pack looms back to the start finish line. How about Justin Champagne in fifth? Who would have thought? And we go on the dirt, and Champagne, you see him back there in 15th and 20th. We go on a road course, same deal. Open wheel racing, same deal. What a turn of events for the driver of the 18. Cootie, Joyner, Shamela and Phillips. Marty downstairs, inches off the inside wall. Cooper Phillips, race leader, but for how long with how things are nicing up? Josh Lilly up the 15. I'm looking back here, there's a lot of names that are waiting in the wake and really just dialing it back. I think we're under a fuel lottery, ladies and gentlemen. Page in seven, Champagne in six. Let's see if we can dial up a driver. Hear exactly what they have to say. Now this is gonna be quick. We don't wanna take away from the racing action. Shamela, Cootie, Joyner and Gentry. That would be your top five. You always want to know what others are thinking and what's really going on. Cootie, it's the John, you got a copy. What's up? Fuel lottery, are we under it? Uh, oh yeah, we're in it. We got like, we're about, we got to split at least from now to the end. Um, I got 14, point four. I'm not worried you have about 14. secrecy. I have 14 laps. 8.6 gallons. Are you going to be able running. to make it all the way? Do you think some guys are trying to stretch that? River and Walker were in the back running fuel map or higher fuel map to get uh, to get less uh, fuel into the intake. But um, I think I don't think they're going to be able to make it. What fuel map I mean, are you, you on? One. I, I have no reason for me to. I knew we were. So you're not going for it. I mean. I'm, no, I'm not, we're gonna, I think we're gonna, we're gonna have You're all gonna split stop. it. Yeah, I think we're all gonna have a pit stop, so there's no point in, in just riding now. We've got, we're, what, 28 to go? Ooh. Uh, we've got 28 to go, and so I might as well just, might as well just run it. Hey, I'm, I'm enjoying this mid-race, mid, -race, mid -stay interview. We gotta know what's fun. going on. Hey, we got more times <laughs> yeah, to talk to before we get back to the broadcast. You're here first, ladies and gentlemen. Andrew Cootie won't be able to make it to the end. Good luck from here on out. But that means maybe a James Thurston will try to make it all the way back to the checkered flag. Oh, in time will tell. We're riding on with Thurston just to hear the inputs and maybe to hear something different. But for some of these guys, they don't believe they will be making it back to the checkered flag. You know what? Let's go ahead and maybe dial up Ethan Stanley. Oh, maybe not. He was involved in that last incident, or a couple incidents back. Gavin Austin, 
One of the drivers to think about. Sitting, waiting. Not really much change. It looks like we're going to stick with just talking to Andrew Cootie and get back to the racing action. So from what we're hearing, most drivers can't make it to the end. But Thurston and River Page dropped back to change the fuel map. So the pace of the race has definitely dropped off a cliff. So after the Gladiator fights we saw for about 40 to 50 laps, well, they're still very much on. Three wide heading down to the turn one for the lead. But others are thinking the long-term game. So I have to ask you, the viewer, do you say, I'm not making it all the way, I'm going to pin and fight it out now? Or do you run back in a different fuel map and possibly make things work at the end? Thurston and River Page, 12th and 11th. I didn't even see the exact fuel map on their gauge. It looks to be no different than any other driver. 25 laps to go from Indy. Joiner inside, Phillips on the outside. After this, we head to Long Beach for round number two. Champagne, Lily, seventh and eighth. Walker, Barry, ninth and tenth. East, Thurston, shuffling the deck outside, 11th. But for Landon Gentry, the eyes are upon him as he's looking for the win. Ranger Cooney, he knows pit road will be coming in a hurry. That's a big thing, what if we don't get a caution? Right, if we don't get a caution and everything goes nice and easy, maybe that one driver tries to, just tries to stretch it out. Because Andrew Cootie was 14, but Andrew Cootie was dicing it since the restart. Some of these other guys were not. And I'd say within the next eight or so laps, you're gonna see guys coming to pit road that did not save. And once they come to pit road, if there's no issues, they're gonna stretch on out. And then we have that big fight for the win. Josh Lilly in fourth. Landon Gentry in fifth. Justin Champagne, top of the board. I wonder if Justin is changing the fuel map. Two lap machines. Right up in front, Andrew Cootie's coming to pit road. Aiden Walker's coming to pit road. Money stop time from the Hoosier State. Shamela's in. No, Shamela's not in. Cootie's in. Walker's in. River Page and James Thurston. Nobody can make it to the end on fuel. And they went back there to try it. Really, the fuel lottery is out the door. This is not going to be a race off strategy. So that was wave one. Justin Champagne and Cooper Phillips. One, two. I'd say Justin has to come at least soon. But they won't be running in this time by. Hunter East. Watching on. Kendall Carpenter watching on. Marty Shamela and company. Still on the racing surface. Here's Aiden Walker. They have formed up down the back stretch. So they will be good to go to the end. I think the idea of some of these guys is to catch the back half of this field and just stay in that draft. But Andrew Cootie's gonna get swallowed up in a hurry. Phillips on the outside. If he wants to come to pit road now, it's not gonna work. Most machines stay on the racing surface. 21 to go. Phillips, Gentry, Joyner, Champagne, Barry back in 10th, Greenwood in 11th. It's just a waiting game right now. That's all you can do is sit and wait because everyone has their own style of a strategy. Look at the move by Josh Lilly up the cut into the lead. He's not been in this time by. No way he would say we're going to Will Cooney. Looking towards the back half, one peels off. And comes the pit road, fight for the top spot. And who will that be? That'll be Jordan Herring. Phillips and Lily. Marquez Ramos is in as well.
20 comes to 19 laps to go. Gentry East Champagne and Joiner. The peel off, no one goes with it. And they have to be communicating with each other if they're gonna wanna pit in one lump sum. But right now, I'm looking at Thurston, Page, and Walker pulling away from the main group. They'll be separated by just three drivers. Phillips in second, Lily in third. Gentry East. Phillips to the bottom of Champagne. And once they get back in the single file formation, you can expect the, the mass migration on the pit road at some point. Looking off turn four, one peels off. That may be River Page, Marty Shamela. Page in his own group, it was the Marty Shamela machine. Now pit him by yourself. You can throw the race goodbye unless you get a caution. But his fuel intake said no more. Cooey the lot machine. That's the driver, the number nine. Joiner, Carpenter, Armstrong. Oh, spin! Right in the middle of the pack. Hunter East, David Joiner up and into the catch fence. The caution will wave with 18 laps remaining. And it will not be a win for the 85. Look at the damage on Landon Gentry. Strategy out the door. Your top three when they cycle through will be James Thurston, Aiden Walker, and River Page. Look at the damage. Just the third caution of this race. And wow. I just they hit a ton up into the outside wall. Watch again. East goes for the three wide move on the bottom. He gets way down below that white line, drifts up the track. Nearly gets into Josh Lilly. Landon Gentry gets in the backside of the 43. And look at the hit for David Joyner. He didn't even realize it was coming. Uh, that's the scariest part of that entire endeavor. Watch him again on the outside lane. Looking, waiting. Bang, man, just got the left side up and into the air. And lands Halo first down on the concrete wall first. No, should we say it did hit the safer barrier. Safer barrier first. And just tumbles into the turn four catch fence. David Joyner drops the championship, uh, Champions Club membership and says, Dang, man, I was doing so good. Let's ride on board. Oh, we may lose the camera here. We're gonna have a fight for the finish. But oh boy, did things get nasty. And a tough end of the day for the David Joyner machine. Well, we talked about Walker being number one. I believe James Thurston and company have come back down pit road to get fresh tires, which leaves Aiden Walker, your race leader. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have 14 laps to go under green from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. A lot of cars remaining. There is three cautions, but they just so got a lot of good contenders. Some guys also hit the outside wall on their own, prompting the end of their own race. Shamal in second. Lily in third, the one to go. 
for Phillips, Drake Perry, Nathan McLaughlin, Mitchell Armstrong, Sean Pena. And a couple drivers still down on pit road. Phillips in fourth, Carpenter in six. Who's gonna go to victory lane? Aiden Walker's gonna be very tough, but can you hold off Josh Lilly? Or how about James Thurston? Place your bets, because we're gonna have 14 laps to see the checkered flag and no overtime. What happens here, happens here, and it's all over. We could end under yellow. We could end under a green flag condition. Walker, Shamela, Lillian Phillips, Coming down on turn four. 14 laps of greatness. Back home in Indiana. Let's go green. Walker pull it away. They've already really spread on out. Marty in second, Lily in third. Phillips, Carpenter, Champagne, battle for the top spot. Shamela to the outside. Walker paints the white line and still holds the wheel to wheel. But Josh Lilly is waiting in the wake. No room on the bottom, splits the middle. Walker left that lump. Lily P2. Oh, he contested a turn one. Ethan Ascar fan dropping the two dollar super chat. Fight the turn two. Phillips in fifth. Carpenter in six. Page looking to the bottom. So have Drake Barry on that outside. Looking, waiting. Josh Louie back to the lead. What's it gonna be? Three wide for second. Champagne on the outside of the Red Bull. Perry. Oh, wheel to wheel was, but now up the third. Walker's waiting there with Shamela. Barry in the middle, wreck in the back, never mind. Lot machine out of harm's way. Champagne on the outside, Josh Lilly on the bottom. 11 to go and through the middle goes Champagne. Should we say Shamela? Through the middle, Shamela sticks on the board. Now Justin wants to go down there. Oh, Marty. Up and towards the outside wall. Hey, he has a problem right now. You see him just shaking that car. Look at the right front. But goes for the lead. This is it right here, all or nothing. But all these drivers know, you cause a wreck, it could be a caution. And how badly would you want to enter the yellow? I don't think anyone does. Phillips to the middle. Shamela on the bottom. Justin Champagne on the outside. 10 to go. Thinking about it. Can't go to the bottom, has to stick with the middle. Josh Lilly. 
paints the white line, and Red Bull is back top of the board in Indiana. Nine to go. Phillips up the gun, jumps to the outside. Walker to seventh, Greenwood in tow. Last time we went here, Dale Greenwood was oh so close to winning, but was involved in the final wreck of the night. Champagne top, Walker top, Phillips stuck in the middle. Oh, Justin's one to clear off the nose of that 18. The game of inches, it's all on. Coming to eight laps remaining. Justin on the outside, Louie on the bottom. Phillips in the middle. Oh, another squeeze. Looking, peeking, shuffling. One wants top, the other wants the bottom. Lily defending down to the grass. Seven laps to go this time by contact. Just Lily is out of the race, and that's a huge hit to the inside wall. Oh my, oh my. And with seven laps to go, we see the caution flag. And this could be the final yellow. Phillips came down. And that was all she wrote. Let's go watch back. Why you see that bold move by the 97 on the bottom. Phillips was defending. He just went over the transition of three to the stretch and got right into the side of that Red Bull. You can see it once again. It's like a little bit of a bunny hill right on that shoot. And for Josh Shuley, there was just no saving it. And the opportunity to win has now gone away. Lucky he didn't really take anyone else out. On a pit road, seven laps to go. Do you pit? Do you stay out? Andrew Cootie electing to come to pit road. Other drivers electing to stay out. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be the final restart. So one car instant. They could be throwing one to go this time. And they are. So this went from most likely the final restart to now maybe the final restart. Because they're going to have five laps. That's going to be more than enough time. Ethan dropped the $2. I thought it was going to be a big... I thought it was going to be bigger than it was. Yeah. He's able to get on the brakes. So now what for Cooper Phillips? Can Ada Walker defend Indiana? Can Champagne find victory lane? Let's go green. Pace car. Coming off turn four. Leaders drop it back. Knowing it's gonna be now or nothing. Phillips top. Walker lined in. Champagne at Barry, Shamela, Greenwood. Five laps to go from Indianapolis. He's waiting really long. He could have gone off four. Phillips now on the gas. 
Oh, I don't like that move. He should have gone down off turn four. He's gonna have Ana Walker and Justin Champagne on him. Here comes Walker already looking for the move. Looks top. Had him jump out of the gas. Has Champagne on that outside as well. Three wide. Justin Champagne takes the lead of this race. Coming to four laps to go. Here comes Drake Berry. Phillips into Walker. Champagne into Phillips and the wrecking big time. Up and into the outside wall, the costume will wave again. And was that the race? Phillips is getting dangerous out there. That could have been the race. We got three to go this time. It might be a quick yellow to see a one lap shootout. Let's watch back. I don't think Justin was putting up for how Phillips was racing. There's Aiden Walker. He will not go back to back. This was the run. Yeah, Justin went right up into him. What's the call? We are here and they're going to be showing one to go this time by. It will be a one lap shootout in Indy. That's big. That is huge. No red flags. We go off of what we have, but we will see the race end under green tonight. Can we get a one-lap shootout is a real question. So we'll have a one-lap shootout from Indianapolis. And that's what they're expecting. There may be some confusion. Lights are on at the top of the pace car. Still, they're not allowing us to do the one lap shootout. Now they are. And that's gonna be exactly what we expected. One lap shootout from Indianapolis. One lap to determine it all. Champagne and Barry. There's Shamela. I think James Thurston's gonna go for it. I have a lot of faith in that driver sitting in third right now. Drake Berry, P2. Carpenter, P5. This is what it comes down to. Champagne, Barry, Thurston, Shamela, Carpenter, River Page. Can he hold on to it? It's going to be the real question. If Barry can time the jump of Champagne, it's going to be a fight down the back. Pace car, the hard left on the pit road. Salamanca, one to go from Indiana. Barry P2, Thurston in tow, the race to turn one. He's gonna be all over Champagne. I don't think that 18's gonna be able to defend it. Thurston to the bottom. 
Champagne to cover. Thurston down near the grass. Carpenter four wide. Last time to three and four. Thurston leads. Barry in second. Race to the checkered flag. James Thurston's going to block them all and wins from Indianapolis. Wow. Jamela Greenwood, Barry, they all rack coming to the start finish line. And James Thurston comes home the winner. That was awesome. That was amazing. You have a great race in action. Feel free to subscribe with notifications on at our Night in America streaming most Tuesdays, Fridays, and even sometimes on Sunday. Wow, that is amazing. What a race. What a finish it was as James Thurston will be deemed victorious. How about it? Last man standing at our night in America, feeling victories all year long. Let's watch back on that finish. This River Page, did he go over the pit wall? He did. Wow. River Page. And we don't have the pit boxes enabled to save some renders. But yikes. Goes for a wild tumble. And on the start, it was really no different. This is the fight for the win as we go talk to your race winner. And we saw the move. We didn't know exactly how it came about. But for James Thurston, a win in the open wheels and a power five spot as he looks forward to the championship coming very, very soon. Maybe this Friday. Thurston, says John, you got a copy? Yeah, dude, I got a copy. What a finish and what a win. Oh my God, I, this, this, is, this is just, I, I don't even know what to say. I, 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 I was speechless when I qualified on the front row, and honestly, I'm just, I'm just speechless now. Uh, <laughs> this is a great win right there for uh, Power Smash Infinity Speed Motorsports. How you can say that without having a tongue twister is just fascinating. It's like Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan, you know? First time I said that, I was like, whoa, man, I've got them all over the place. And I finally got to it, but you said it. Power Smash, another big win. Uh-huh. And well, I mean, you have an yeah, e-ticket possibly of this in the future. Yeah, I'll just say that I've said it enough times in uh, interviews through here and uh, other leagues. But um, I, I mean, I honestly was really surprised that I qualified. Last time we did Indy, I think I qualified like one of the bottom three to make the race. But I, I somehow set just an absolute heater, and we just ran the race as smart as we could and managed to just be here right at the end, pulled it off perfectly there on that one lap shootout. Unreal stuff. Unreal racing. It was just so much fun to watch what you all were able to do. IndyCar night. Do you love it? I mean, obviously, it's not the stock cars. We all love doing the NASCAR stock car racing. That's what we're really known for. But you cannot look away from how great of a race that was. Yeah, this was awesome. These cars, I mean, they're, they're, they're so much fun to race with. I mean, even on these tracks like this, where, like, 
you know, it, it's more like a pack race, which I mean, with these is fine because they have so much dirty air that the real the racing on the smaller ovals is harder. But um, I mean, it's just it's just so intense. Every lap is so intense. I mean, do you think racing at Daytona is intense? Racing here in a pack is is like that, but you're going 240. Wow. Hey, who hit the pylon? Was that McLaughlin? Did you see uh, who hit what behind River Page? Yo, that was a heck of a wreck for him. Yeah, that, that wreck at the end was, uh, that was wild. I mean, he just got launched into the air. You can just see him, like, the air just took him up and over. It was... I think River Page went over the catch fence on the inside. He did. No, no, he didn't go over the catch fence. He, he went over the pit wall. Uh, <laughs> we're heading to Long Beach. Race number two, 30 laps is a sprint race. What's some concerns about that? Um, well, the first concern is the tire lockup, because if you lock up a tire, you're going straight into the wall. Yeah, you're done. Cars. You know, if, if anyone makes a mistake around you, consider your race over. But, um, nah, I don't know. We're going to get into that thing. And no race. overtime. That's big. Yeah. Worry? Be. Um, for Long Beach, not as much. But, uh, I mean, Hero is a big concern, because we almost didn't have that one lap, and it would have been Champagne's race. But, uh, just, I mean, that's just awesome right there. It was. It was such an awesome win. It was such an awesome finish. Everything in between. You want to say anything to these viewers back at home? Because, I mean, they stuck around. They hung out with us. IndyCar night. Not our usual NASCAR style of racing. Enter night's turning into more of a motorsport community. And once again, with how great of a turnout we had tonight, just shows why we probably need to continue to push for that. Well, uh, I'm the, I'm the real Jim Shady. That's, uh, that's about what all, all I have to say. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't... Yeah, they call, they call me Jim in the, uh, in the Discord, so I came up with that nickname. Well, heck of a win. Viewers stuck around with us. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know, we're looking for a sponsor for Indianapolis. You want to join on and an amazing e ticket event to come? Uh, my email is down in the description below. We just had the Darrington Woodworking Florida 500. 21,000 tuned into that. Can you believe that? Uh, shout out to James Mass for helping us put that together. At Talladega, there's already a lot of hype and excitement for that e-ticket event, the Alabama 500, coming April 19th. And for the month of May, we want to have our first ever open wheel e-ticket. But it comes down to if we get a sponsor on board so we can put together the production crew, the prize pool, and everything in between because we want to make it a multi-day event as well so keep that in mind james thurston are you in favor of a month of may e-ticket oh you know i am i mean you just know it i mean this this car is so much fun i really hope we have one if we can do an nr like if we can do an nr indy 500 that would be so much fun It'd oh. be such a fun event to put on yes it would congratulations on the win james thurston we head to long beach and we hope to see you there ladies and gentlemen watching back at home it's the first time you're seeing my face a lot of cool things coming on this YouTube channel. If you didn't already know, let's go ahead and run through it. Uh, the first ever in-person streamed call will be on this YouTube channel. Uh, I call races in person at the National Fairgrounds Speedway. You see the track actually behind you as of this moment. And what's going to come along with that is I will have my phone. If I can find the phone, I'll have this phone right here with this tripod placed in the corner of the booth with a phone microphone. And I'll be calling the action of the National Fairgrounds Speedway, and you can listen to it through the power of YouTube Shorts. It'll be live on the YouTube Shorts on this YouTube channel. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a blast. I got approval for it, about the equipment for it. Trust me, you won't wanna miss that. Opening day, that is a Sunday. It's going to be an absolute blast. So, let's get ready to go green in the meantime. Pro Late Models, I also want to point something out. You may want to tune into this year of the National Fairgrounds Speedway. I'll, I will be calling the races. It's going to be an absolute blast. But this could be a very historical year at the National Fairgrounds Speedway. Who knows about the Sterling Marlin family by chance? Well, I'll say this. Sterling Marlin has three track championships at the National Fairgrounds Speedway. Something amazing. Right, I, winning a track championship on a pro late model, just a late model side, is fantastic. Guess who tied Sterling Marlin last year at the fairgrounds? Dylan Fetcho. Rumors have it, he's looking to come back this year and pass Sterling Marlin 
to tie for the most track championships at the Nashville Fairground Speedway. Want to take a wild guess on who has the most track championships on the late model side? Cuckoo Marlin, the father of Sterling Marlin. Dylan Fetcho can do something that hasn't been done since 2002 because Cuckoo Marlin isn't the only four-time track champion. So it's going to be a lot of fun to see if that would happen. And the best part, all 10 races will be live through the power of YouTube Shorts. If you want to see the actual racing action, you go through Racing America and 2B TV. Whoever the ones that just want to hear me broadcast the race with John. It's the John John Show up there. John Nix will be to my right. It's going to be an absolute blast. You won't want to miss it. It'll only be on the weekends through the power of YouTube Shorts. And it will be a whole lot of fun. Let's dial it in. Let's dial it up. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a couple of moments, it'll be time to get the one to go. Practice underway as we get ready to go green. And let's go ahead and actually give you the updated stats on that. I do have the stats here. Joe Buford is the other four-time track champion. He won in 98, 99, 2000, 2002. Cuckoo Marlin won it in 1995, 1963, 1965, and 1966. Dylan Fetcho has won it in 2020, 2022, 2023. Could get it in 24. He's going to have to battle Jackson Boone for that. This is going to be a very exciting year at the National Fairgrounds Speedway. And the best part about it, there's no paywall if you just want to hear the broadcast of what's going on. You'll be able to hear it with the power of this YouTube channel. How about that? Well, let's go on for race number two. James Thurston, Daniel Moss, Diller worked their way out to Long Beach. A lot of talk about Long Beach and who's going to race the Long Beach GP in the future. NASCAR wants a majority stake, or at least 50% from what we're hearing, to race there out west for 2025. I'm excited for that. I've always said Long Beach is one of those tracks that NASCAR needs to explore. But for IndyCar, it's their time in the spotlight. Ethan Stanley rolls on to the racing surface. You know, let's see if we go dial up Ethan Stanley. Eric W. gifting one membership. Stanley, it's a John. You got a copy? Yeah, what's up? You know, recently in Enter Night in America, we've been having uh, drivers take us around this racetrack or any racetrack alike. Would you like to do that with us or would you want me to find someone else? Maybe find somebody else. Somebody else the no, he's locked in. He's locked in. I, I feel that. I was kind of worried and skeptical about doing it here. Sam wants to go to victory lane, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and see if we can find uh, someone else to take a lap along uh, with us. We're looking up and down, sideways. Barbacallo. Oh, I'm getting the answer. No, some of these guys really want to focus on making this race. So we're going to keep that in mind. So we'll take a lap around the Long Beach GP and see what's to offer. This is turn number one. Or should we say actually turn number two? I believe turn one is that big sweeper. And then you get towards the fountain corner, very tight, very narrow. Ethan Stanley does a great job of navigating his way through that. So that's one, two, turn three, four and five. You see it right here. This is the shoe where you then want to just get that power back under the bridge, down Aquarium Way, and then you get the hard left-hander. That's turn six down Pine Avenue, and Ethan Stanley goes into the Acura wall. And I think that's exactly why he did not want to speak with us. Let's continue on. Turn eight down the back stretch to turn nine after finding your way under the Lyuna Bridge in the long back straight into the, the hard right-hander of turn nine into the carousel of turn 10. And find your way under the Firestone Bridge, sweeping, moving left and right. And then the hairpin of turn 11. Let's go ahead and ride on with Daniel Mostar to see if we can take a lap with him. Ethan, drama at $2 Super Chat saying, I would love NASCAR. To Long Beach, also go Demos. Mosteller, you're riding on with him now. What's it gonna be tonight? New music, what do y'all think? As we get ready to roll. Two minutes left. On top of the board is Hector Coloso. 
Colazzo, should we say? Hector Colazzo. Chase Schaefer, Daniel Mosteller, and Gavin Austin fast four. I think a lot of these guys are going to be thinking about pitch starting. They want to stay out of harm's way. Back to turn 11 and back to turn 12. Oh, should we say there is no turn 12? Just back to turn 11 and back to the start finish line is the Daniel Moss Stellar Machine. He's talking 160. I think he gets up to 170 at some point. Man, on a street course, that is crazy speed. Look around, Gavin Austin, six in the Pepsi Machine. Yaro Slap, Don Skoy, the Russian driver. Couldn't make it to Indy in time, but he's out west and he's hanging out with us. Oz Kanar, Noah Larson, Kendall Carpenter, Tobias Matheson, Chad Thurnquist, Dale Greenwood, Joshua Sutherland, David Joyner, Benjamin Romano, Romano, should we say. Chad Hornish up the fourth, Joseph Armstrong up the third, how about it? I think he's gonna go for a better lap. Let's see if we can dial in uh, someone that can help us out here in just a moment. Champ, oh, let's rephrase that. Champ, it's a John, you got a copy. Champ, it's a John, you got a copy. Ah, uh, no message out of him. And uh, we'll go ahead and drag him back. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. It's going to be showtime in the Long Beach GP. So they'll start on the back stretch, but we want to do one lap so these drivers have an understanding of how to navigate this course before we drop the hammer. And that's the two by two. Let's go green. Noah Larson, Yahir Rodriguez. Time to roll. And our night in America feeling victories all year long and a 30 lap sprint. With the Long Beach GP, something to be excited about. So they're parked all the way out. Towards the back stretch of turn eight and nine. And they'll head to the carousel at turn 10 and the hairpin at turn 11. Then back to the start finish line and then we'll go green next time by, not this time by. Let's get ready to go green. Who wants to see NASCAR go to Long Beach? Stanley, Mosteller, Galazzo. Lights on the top of the pace car. The idea is once again to see if these drivers can, I want to say master, but understand the track before we go fully green. So let's go ahead and say those magical words. God, speed, drivers. You are go for throttle up. The 
one to go this time by, and I look up and down this field, and I see some guys saying, I'm pit starting, like Chad Thurquist. Zachary Truel back in 32nd, strong driver. He knows he has a lot to show for. Uh, Hector Colazzo likes to start from the rear, doesn't want to be up in front. Feels like it's going to be nothing but mayhem. But what do you all think? All this safety from certain drivers and questioning, shuffling that deck. I think we'll get through turn one without an issue. Chad Hornish in seventh. The Hornish name has yet to find victory lane in NR. But that could be changing and in a hurry. Joseph Armstrong, one of the guys, looking to start from the tail end of the longest line. He was another one that wants nothing to do with what's going on up front. Presumably it wants to be there at the end. Let's get ready to go green. Relax, yellow's on the restart. Turn six and seven, heading to turn eight and nine. Pine Avenue, that quick up and downhill trend shows things can get bumpy and tight. We've gone here with the truck series. We've gone here with the cup cars. We've gone here with the Arca Gen 4. Never have we gone to Long Beach with an open wheel machine. Ethan NASCAR fan dropping the $2 super chat. Excited to see Mostella racing. Hopes to see him in victory lane. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 laps of action, 30 laps of fighting. Pace car will make the hard ride on the pit road. Ethan Stanley, Daniel Mostella, get ready to grab a gear as we go ahead, head out west, and link the fuse from the Port of Long Beach. The brace to turn one. Three wide, Schaefer looked peaked. River Page jostling for spots. Most get through. Schaefer outside wall, he's lost the left front wing. Oh, I racing gives him it back and heading to Pine Avenue. It's all Ethan Stanley, the race leader. How about it? Page in third, Schaefer in fourth. Chad Hornis to six. Aiden Walker, Yahir Rodriguez, Gavin Austin, Ethan Stanley, like a silver bullet, out to turn 10. Under the Firestone Bridge will be in hot, uh, hot pursuit, should we say, by the Moss Teller Machine. And how about this top two? Haven't we seen them go at it before in the past? First race that comes to mind is Chicago Street, as many also may also have that come to mind because it was such an exciting and wild finish. Stan got on the back end of Moss. Ethan Stanley, a one second advantage. Guys, first win in NR Night in America, here from the Port of Long Beach. Well, past the Fountain Corner through two, three, and getting ready to head to four and five. Shown to already be one of the quickest drivers. Let's look back towards the back half of the field. Joseph Armstrong, 17, finds his way around that 18 machine. Dewell, Chad Thurquist, this is the battle for 19. Chad, another one with the pit start. Yaroslav Donskoy, Oz Kanar, looking, peaking, looking for a move. Chad Thurquist, no, Max Swearingen, Tobias Matheson. Towards the back half already with issues. So about 95% of the field gets through lap one unscathed. And it's going to be tough to catch Ethan Stanley. The Port of Long Beach at one point held the championship. The NTT IndyCar Series, well, that was moved now to Nashville. And then now Nashville Super Speedway. going to be very interesting to see how the championship endeavors change over the years. For the middle of Tennessee fans, excitement brews 
for a championship race of this great series. Yahir Rodriguez in six most. He's not really been able to gain that much time. Two in lap one. He was a one. 16 back, now a 1-2-9 back. Obviously, has not been able to leave that top two whatsoever. You go back to Yadier Rodriguez. Well, he's been in the top 10 as low as ninth and currently up to six. A caution or maybe a strategy call to get him rolling in the right direction. Chase Schaefer. A hit possibly the wall. You saw someone's pod fly off. For a second, we thought it may have been his. Has not left fourth at all during this race. Chad Hornish, that stretch, heading to turn nine. Street course racing at its finest. Mosteller has gained in, heading to turn 11. Well, but loses most coming down off exit. It's the Ethan Stanley show up front. And the question will be who can catch him? We get towards the end of this race. Turn one. Oh, he's just so strong down in there. Here's River Page. Page in third, looking, navigating. Schaefer, Hornish, Walker, Thurston, Josh Hooley. How about Castro Neves up to 11? And had an opportunity to win there at Indy. It didn't look too well after he got into turn one. And that all quickly changed. Mosteller quick down Palm Avenue. One four back to Ethan Stanley Machine. River Page, big lock up. Fight for now third. Schaefer to the bottom. Page defends with the late break. And the carousel at turn 10 will hold on to that third position. Mosteller. Now he's not gaining any time and any time soon. Look at this, a 1-8 back. Lost the most time off of that lap than any other lap previously. And we're not going to talk to him just now because there's still a lot of racing left to go, but when pitch strategy comes into effect, that may be a talking point. Lap car, that's the 30. Will not allow that 87 on by. And he lost even more time. Now it's four seconds, the disadvantage. That 30 machine was Thomas Grattan, who has lost the back bumper, or should we say the back wing of that number 30 machine, trying to nurse it back home. Right now, most is three and a half seconds back. He did start gaining a little bit of time, but for Ethan Stanley, he's loving what he sees. Nobody in clear sight. Battle, Schaefer, and Ornish. So for most drivers, this is the first time doing this car track combo because it is a new car track combo. Matter of fact, the first, should we say, second, third, and fourth, so the last three races of the night will all be new car track combos. Unless we get 300 likes, then we will see race number five and already an issue with Shea Schaefer. The slide coming down off turn 11 keeps Chad Hornish at bay. Hornish looking top. Peking, River Page. 3-6, the difference now for Mosteller. Has gained in a little bit more on this lap, but it's still very far back to the Ethan Stanley machine. And Stanley's now just heading to turn seven. Mosteller coming on in, and you look at the IndyCar side, three seconds back is not really far at all. And on a stock car side, you say, man, he has a three, four second lead. Wow, this is a blowout. But in reality, things happen so quickly in a mistake, you can lose so much time or even gain time. You see three, four seconds, you say, okay, you know, this is definitely an area where drivers can make up time. And with 25 laps to go, you still got a lot of heavy hitters from third on back. You look at Josh Lilly, you look at James Thurston, you look at Aiden Walker. And these are drivers you say, hey, they have a shot as long as they can go ahead and keep the machine pointed in the right direction. 23, should we say 24, lots to go with a Port of Long Beach. Schaefer 174 down into turn one. The river's been very consistent, not allowing that 99 back. They're wondering, 
wait a minute, weren't we supposed to have a caution? Usually we have a yellow into turn one here at Long Beach. Well, that's the stock cars, and on this track, it's icy, it's dicey, and you go ahead and slide the rear end out a ton. Well, the way you look at it now, you realize a lot more grip out of these Indy cars, a lot more grip, a lot more precision compared to a stock car. It's like running a fighter jet in a gymnasium versus running a tank around a classroom. That's the best way to go ahead and talk about the difference between racing a stock car at Long Beach versus racing in an open wheel machine here at this track. The battle for third. Schaefer P4, River Page. They just hold on that third position. Aiden Walker has not had really any pressure from the James Thurston machine. With 23 laps to go, there's still a good bit of racing left to go. For Ethan Stanley, right now he's thinking this is just a big walk in the park. Cornish in fifth, Yahir Rodriguez in sixth, Gavin Austin in 11th, Chad Thurnquist in 15th. There's David Joyner now. Oh, left front wing has come off that machine. Dale Greenwood struggling down off turn 11. That's for 18. Go all the way back. What do you see? Joseph Armstrong, 26. Yaroslav Donskoy, a retiree. He sits 27 out of 36 drivers that have taken the green flag. What is it going to take for Mosteller to catch Ethan Stanley? Well, you look at how things have been running, and we say, hey, now we can go ahead and dial up Stanley as he's now caught lap traffic. And that looks to be the David Joyner machine. Maybe not. That looks to be Zachary Truel, a two-time winner in the IndyCars at Enter Night in America. Stanley working his way down into turn one. Let's go talk to him. Stanley, it's the Johnny got a copy. Yeah, what's up? Heck of a lead, my man, after the lap car. Well, caught Moss Zeller. He dropped back about three seconds. How's it feeling? Uh, feeling pretty good. I'm just kind of fuel saving right now. That's a big thing. We're under a fuel lottery, but by how much? Uh, you got to save about four laps of gas. Four laps. What have you saved so far? Uh, about one. I think you can do it. I mean, really, you have the opportunity to do so. You think other drivers in that same mentality right now? Hey, save, save, save. Uh, maybe not. Maybe they're hoping for a pass. Uh, I know the lap car I'm trying to pass right now is definitely a cool fuel. I'm trying to pull away from the straight. Well, heck, yeah. Love what you're doing out here. Long Beach, you've got a win here at the trucks. You ran well here, I believe, with the next gen. What is the big change here with the Indy cars and the fact that we haven't had a caution? Are you surprised we haven't had a caution as well? I'm not really too surprised. I think most of the crashes are going to be uh, like one car crashes, just errors. Uh, usually you put them in the wall and then you're done so people don't try to keep going. It's going to be interesting. You have to navigate around the Zachary Trill machine. Lot traffic, or should we say track position? Has it been tough to find a way around machines? Uh, yeah, if you're trying to save fuel and the guy in front of you is just flat out, it's kind of hard to use the fast on the street. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Dead off turn five. Then they got me worried there. Well, we're not going to try to... I'm kind of tired of this guy, but... Uh, yeah. Dirty air. Do you think it's dumping on you? It's tying the car up? Oh, a little bit, yeah. Well, it should be interesting. We'll continue to monitor how things go. That's Ethan Stanley, ladies and gentlemen. And during that conversation, Mosteller has closed the gap quickly to a 3-3. River Page in third, Hornish in fourth. James Thurston has dropped back to seventh. And we don't really see why. The real question now is Chase Schaefer. Where may he be? And that's on pit road. Schaefer back in that 20th position, no damage to that car. We stay green. With 20 laps to go, it's all on. James Mass, that's the final dollar Super Chat saying, idea for race five if we get it. Go to a track that eats tires and only allow one or two sets of tires if it's doable. What do the viewers think about that? Keep it in mind, I will, including if we hit that 300-like threshold. James Mass, the reason why we had the Darrington Woodworking 4 to 500, and I'll tell you what, that event that broke records. The highest viewed e-ticket since, I want to say, May 2022. It passed the Brickyard 400. It's on the doorstep of the Geico 500. There's a good chance the Alabama 500 could be the highest viewed e-ticket event. So if you want to be a part of a historical night, 
Tune in April 19th. And due to sponsorship obligation, originally we had a sponsor for the Indy race. We had to drop the sponsor, or should we say we didn't have to drop this. Uh, the sponsor had obligations and had to pull out. So, if you have any brands and businesses you'd like to go in and promote, Indianapolis, you'll have a two-day event with it. Moss Zeller has close on in under three seconds with 20 laps to go. And we'd have our own Indiana 500. It'd be exciting. It'd be a lot of fun. It'd be a Friday night, and then we'd have bump day to show everyone what everyone's got. Yahir Rodriguez, Chad Ornish, River Page. Six seconds back. Most has closed in somewhat, lost somewhat. He almost cracked the 2-9. I was looking at that dial. But Ethan Stanley said he's saving. Interesting talking point. With 19 laps to go in this race, let's go talk to Joe Armstrong. He said, John, you got a copy? Yeah, I got you, yeah. Hey, man, a pit start back in 24th. Yow, I don't think that was the best time to pit start. But I think we both had the same idea. It was going to get dirty and quick. But somehow, we stayed green. Uh, yeah, I had a little mishap on the, uh, I didn't mean to pit start, but I uh, kind of stalled the race car. Uh, the, oh, there's the a car on the outside wall in front of you. Yeah, uh, I stalled the car under pacing at the pit start because I couldn't get it restarted. And then uh, I've made a few mistakes, kind of self spinning a couple times. And, here we are, 25th, like three laps down, but hopefully we can get a caution here. And, you know. That could be a big thing. Another thing Jarvis is talking about is the fact that they're under a fuel lottery. They're four laps behind. How do you feel about that? Well, it doesn't really do anything for me because I'm to the good because I've pit three times already in this race. But um, I think because of that, we're not going to get any cautions for one reason or another. So uh, I don't know. I'm close on making it, I think. I mean, we've got 18 to go, and I have 19 laps of fuel. And like I said, I've pinned twice, so there's no way. I mean, we still got ways to go, but I don't think that they should stretch it that far. That's going to be interesting to see. That's Joseph Armstrong, ladies and gentlemen, giving his take on everything going on. We'll continue to monitor situations. 18 laps to go. Oh, trouble! Moss Stellar up and into the outside wall, collects two other machines, and the caution will wave. Wow. That happened so quick. It will end his day. River Page will be second. Chad Horns will be third. Aiden Walker will be fourth. Look at the damage on the James Thurston machine. Yahi Rodriguez. Chad Thurquist. What happened? How did it happen? And the other one is why did it happen? Unreal. Well, let's watch back. This was not long after impact for some of these guys that are just looking to navigate through. This is Demos. Oh man, Gavin Austin. Went right around in front of your race leader. The caution did not come out. We're talking to Joseph Armstrong. And they just piled on in. Gavin Austin will be given an L5 penalty for that incident. River Page. Uh, I believe will definitely Line up in that second position. I don't think Demos is too happy with the Gavin Austin machine. You can exactly see why. This was the lap earlier. Gavin Austin, there he is. He's coming out of pit road and in front of Mose.
Yeah, you're a lap car. You got to realize that you have the leaders behind you. Things got dicey, didn't it? And it turned things around up quickly. Tobias Matheson on pit road, Zachary Troll, Ethan Stanley and them come in and they're heading on out. And with the way things have cycled through, Stanley will most likely be the race leader. Boss Stellar very displeased with what he just saw. Get ready to try it all again. So the caution is out. Zachary Trull, Ethan Stanley, Chad Hornish, Ada Walker will line up, and with 16 laps to go, we'll get ready for a restart. Now, I'm surprised he didn't see the 87 behind him. And he, he obviously said he spun because of his cold tires, but you're, you're in charge of your car. You're in charge of your machine. And for all these other drivers out racing for the win, yes, three seconds off pace. Monsteller was, but he's still sitting in the second position. You expect that not to happen at really any point. You look back on pit road, James Thurston, Joseph Armstrong, Cody Workman, there's Chase Schaefer back rolling around, Tobias Matheson, and we'll get ready for another restart, but wow. Things got nasty, and they happened, or it did happen, should we say, very quickly. So, we'll get the one to go next time by. Nathan Stanley will have a new company. Zachary Chul looks like is staying out. Hornish, back there in third. We'll be looking down the neck of the Ethan Stanley machine. Can a Hornish win it at R? Only time will tell. Chad third was in seventh. Even Stanley, Zachary Truel, lights off, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready to go green. After this, we go oval racing from Gateway. Let me see what is up. Could we get an e-ticket at Kentucky with the next gen? I don't think many drivers would be in favor of that. I actually like the Kentucky Speedway, but most drivers I know would be anti that. So when we do an e-ticket, everyone's gonna basically be in agreement. But yeah, it's gonna be a great event. Most drivers would like it, most viewers would like it, and then we go with it. We get the one to go now with most drivers now back on pit road. Marquez Ramos, Rodriguez, Thurston, Mosteller all on pit road. Look to be out of this race. We have 14 laps to duel it out. The one to go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, heck of a strategy call here for True. Looks like he was able to stay out on the lead lap. Let's go, Green.
Pace car will make that hard left onto pit road. Truel and Stanley, Cornish and Walker. A timely yellow for the driver of the 37. Puts us back underway from the Port of Long Beach. To turn one. Stanley all over the back end. Looking at shuffling to four and five. All River Page. Loses the left front of his wing. That forces Thurnquist Chris wide and almost up into the tire barrier. Stanley to the lead on the outside down Pine Avenue. And it was like Truel wasn't even moving. And Hornish will sneak through in a second. This could be his best finish right here. P2, but you know he's gonna be going for the win. Eight and closing, Chad Hornish. Dicing it up to the carousel of 10. Stanley the drive off. Oh man, turn 11, he's just so good over there. And it keeps all other machines at bay. Thurnquist, seventh. Dale Greenwood up to ninth. Dominic Barbagallo in 12th. Carpenter in fifth. Walker in fourth. Twelve laps to go next time by. 13 on right now. And for Ethan Stanley, the dominance continues. Snow Fox dropping down a gifted membership. Very thankful for that. Walker. Oh, he thought about going to the inside of Truel. But that would not work out at all. Truel restarted this race in first. Now back to third. Stanley is lights out over a two second advantage over Hornish. Schaefer. Barbara Gallo, that's 12th and 13th. Hornish is good on entry to 11, but man, Stanley just gets the best drives off. River Page coming to pit road. 12 to go. And the only one that can beat Ethan Stanley is Ethan Stanley himself. And he actually just hit the outside wall. Even some of the most perfect drivers can have imperfections. Well, that was a little. Nerve wracking, finding the edge. He actually gained time doing all that. And that's the thing about him. He's a street course racer. He loves road course racing at NR Night in America. He knows in the streets you have to be aggressive. You got to be confident if you're going to make it work. And honestly, the other side of that coin is putting it up into the outside wall and DNFing. But the coin that you want to look at is the right side, and that's the side of speed. Adrenaline and consistency. Can he do just that? Well, I think he uh, proved that point already tonight. Sticks on the board from the Port of Long Beach. 11 laps to go for Stanley, Hornish, Zachary Truel, Walker, and that is Kendall Carpenter sitting in fifth. Three six bad. Almost nearly four seconds. Now Hornish, if he wants to go catch him, he's just gonna have to push it a lot harder. That's what it's gonna come down to. But do you wanna risk a career best finish in NR Night in America? And that could be second. You see Truel closing the gap. Actually to the Hornish machine. Eleven to go down Pine Avenue. This is third, fourth, and fifth. Truel, Walker, Carpenter, five-second advantage. Ethan Stanley. Truel, Walker to the inside. Here's a wheel-to-wheel -wheel for position. Under the Firestone Bridge. A look, a peek. I don't think that's going to work whatsoever. 
Petrul will continue that fight, but oh boy, Ana Walker wants to find a way around and quickly. His big worry now is Carpenter and Chad Thurnquist closing that gap. Ten laps remaining. Hornish falling to the clutches. This is going to be a big battle for second between the 11, the 37, the 93, and I was even say Kendall Carpenter. And if, if somehow if it's not settled out, it may come down to Chad Thurquist sitting there in six. Nine laps to go this time by up and down Pine Avenue. Troll catching a glimpse of that outside wall. Tay to nine. Walker still right on the cusp. Here in the Zachary Jewel machine, Chad Hornish, for the most part, has actually stopped the bleeding there to Zachary Jewel. He's sitting there in that second spot with not a lot of things to look at besides clean air out front and dots in his mirror. Matheson on pit road, a fight for 10th. Joseph Armstrong. Barbagallo, Oskanar. Got Cody Workman there in 13. Ethan Stanley is just putting on a clinic. I mean, the last time a driver won by that much, or let's rephrase that, was leading by this much in a race. Then I look at Mosteller at the Roval with the next gen. He won by like 14 seconds, and we were all scratching our head. We're like, road course racing in Night in America usually comes down to a two-car battle for the win. Carpenter in fifth. Chad Thurnquist navigating his way through. Let's go talk to some drivers with nine laps remaining. And hear what they all have to say. Let's dial up Max Swergen. Or should we say let's dial up someone else? Oh, no, no, we're going to go dial up Max Swergen and hear what he's got to say. Swaggy, it's a John, you got a copy. Oh, hi, I did not expect to be in here. Five laps down, but it's a tricky race. You're up inside that top 20. What's going on? Yeah. I hit the wall on lap one, I hit the wall like other times to like hit and I want to have fun tonight so I'm still racing and I'm enjoying it a lot. Well, one caution in this race, some were expecting this to be a real barn burner. With eight laps to go, Ethan Stanley's lights out. What's your opinion on the Indy cars here? I, I like him a lot. It'll be a lot better if I was battling someone, but I, I still love the Indy car. Yeah, I love it a lot. It's a lot of fun to drive. Well, we go to Gateway for race number three. You know, let's start the voting on that. Day or night race? Uh, night. Why night? I vote. Uh, Indy cars deserve to race at night at Gateway, and if they race in the day, they're in So that's just me. I don't know how the app will race. I, my preference is night, but I think the heavy Indy car race to say back. And night race was easy. But... Well, we had a night race. No, but I'm gonna scratch that. We had a day race. Uh, a couple of races ago at Gateway, but that was for the Roval. First yeah, time back on the oval in a long time. First time with the open wheel machines. How does it drive compared to Indianapolis and let's even say maybe an auto club? For oval? Yeah. The beast cars. Uh, very unique. Ooh, do we do the IRO fives? They don't have a setup, but I would completely vouch for that 110%. Um, these cars, IR18 at least, is very aero dependent on tracks like that. Like I was watching, uh, I think it was Logan Race in a voice chat, and he was off throttle a lot compared to what I usually see like other cars. But you know. Um, oh, one spinning chat, request. Oh, doesn't shock me in the slightest. Goes for a loop. Wait, goes for a loop. Online, but he's able to keep it going. Six to go. Are you surprised by Ethan Stanley's dominance? Not really. He's really damn good on road courses, and it doesn't shock me. 
I wish Demos would appear in the battle, but I think Gavin Austin did his own thing and he took him out from what I was doing. So. Yeah, that was uh, that was interesting to say the least. There was six laps to go. Seeing wild things to forge, rule in third, Walker in fourth. Did you race at Indy for the 500, or not the 500? Uh, track that back once again. For race number one, did you uh, take the green flag? I was, I didn't even register for it. I was eating dinner. I had work, I got home and ate food, and now I'm here. <laughs> so. Not very I, exciting. Yeah, very, very exciting afternoon in my residency. I'm gonna blow turn one in a second. What is this guy doing? Ah! Well, hey, we got five laps to go in this race. Chad Hornish is on track for his highest finish running in NR Night in America. And fun swag, we'll keep up with you later. Yeah, it sounds good, I love you. Oh, love too. <laughs> I accidentally went ahead and disconnected. Hornish second, Drool in third, Walker, Carpenter, Thurquist, Ridge. We love the drivers of NR Night in America. They make the racing as great as it is. They're amazing, we love it, we love the action, but Chad Hornish, he may not come home with the victory tonight. But Ethan Staley is looking for one thing. You see that 11? Three more seconds he needs to go ahead and make in the next five laps to have the most dominant performance for a win on a road course in NR9. First win in NR9 came here from Long Beach. He won on Warren Tires. The most dominating road course victory in NR9. Moss Stellar, 14 seconds to Roval. Ethan Stanley needs to make it up, and I guarantee you he's gonna be pushing it because he knows his time is uh, coming. Hornish is struggling down off 11. That's where he loses so much time. 12 seconds, the difference between first and second, but Truel and Walker have been all over each other for quite some time now. Carpenter's back to fifth. Third quiz, even with that spin, still sits in the sixth position. Can Ethan Stanley do it? He needs to make up just two more seconds in four more laps. Down the back to eight and nine. And all eyes are now on the scoreboard. 12 back, Truel, Walker. I think they almost made contact back there. You definitely heard the screeching. Here's Chad Thurnquist. Ash Rich have a night P7. Wow. Another one of those guys that consider them an, or consider themselves an open wheel driver. And how about Dominic Barbagallo back there in the eighth position? Three laps to go for the Port of Long Beach. 12-4, the difference. And Stanley's got to push for it. Winning is one thing, breaking records is another. And he's still driving his heart off, down off exit. 12 and a half seconds. Could get 13 here, needs to be, I believe, a 14. Two, three, I'm trying to remember if that was the exact time. But if he gets to the 15s, no doubt about it, he will have done it. Zachary Truel in third, Ada Walker in fourth. These two will fight it out all the way back to the start finish line. But with two laps to go, it's all Ethan Stanley out front leading. This drive off exit was pretty strong. But Hornish, 10 and 11, has not been his best. Down to a 13. Needs about a second and a half to make it work. Truel and Walker. Third and fourth, what a strategy by Zachary Truel. Was nowhere near the front. And now he sits P3. Night racing, we haven't done a night race in NR Night in America in what feels like quite some time now. Stanley a blink, a blink twice. Couple blinks, should we say. He's able to keep it pointed in the direction he needs to. 13-4 with a lap and a half remaining. 
under the bridge to turn 10. And the kink of 11, he's having internet issues. But it's not gonna be called back now. A dominating performance just needs one more lap to add the exclamation point from the Port of Long Beach, Sonoranka. One to go for Ethan Stanley. 14 seconds. Down into one, hugs the wall. Over the curbing of four, heading to five. Near perfection in this race. The best of the rest, you could say. Final time under the Layuna Bridge and down Palm Avenue before heading to turn eight and the long straightaway of turn nine. Lot traffic in front of them. Won't play a difference. To the carousel of turn 10. After blinking once, twice, maybe even a third, and the hairpin of 11, Ethan Stanley will shut them down from the West Coast. Stanley victorious from the Port of Long Beach. Fifteen seconds and a new record of the most dominating performance on a road course. Hornish will sit second, coming across the line. Sixteen seconds in the hole. True Walker will finish in their respected positions and already burning it down towards turn number one. Stan is the man, ladies and gentlemen. Eric W5, gift of membership, so thankful for it. How about it? Ethan Stanley, victorious from Long Beach. Time to go talk to your race winner. I think he had the right idea. Don't talk to him during uh, during all that fun and excitement of qualifying. Stanley, wow, 16 seconds, and you couldn't see the competition at all. Yeah, I just kept my head down, just pumped out some laps. That is unreal. Walk me through the race. Um, so at first it was going to be fuel strategy. Um, I was just trying to save as much as I could. Um, caution kind of threw that away and then uh, just bolted on the red tires and uh, just straight push from there. What were you thinking when that caution came out? I mean, I, you had to be like, oh, you got to be serious, right? Uh, I wasn't too upset. The only thing I was a little bit sad about is that I wasn't starting, on, uh, I wasn't starting in the front. So that was a little bit difficult to get by him. But uh, once I was by him, it was just pretty much smooth sailing. Well, hold on. Are you, are you a fan of Auto Club? Breaking oh, news, a Texas-based industrial developer and investor is revving up its engines to begin the conversion of a NASCAR track in Southern California after landing $756 million in financing. Well, at least now they'll uh, start on that. Well, it looks like we're Auto Club's here to stay, ladies and gentlemen, but in a smaller form, racing changes enter night in america has been all about you forever you've been talking about doing new things how do you feel about this community heading into this new era um i mean i'm not around as, as much as i used to but uh i appreciate the switch up and like trying different things um kind of what i've been asking for for a long time but uh, i think it's pretty fun trying new uh, series and just experimenting well i'll have to go ahead and also ask this great win you're still great on the road courses Indy 500 event. If we did it, would you race it? Uh, if it was on a Friday, I unfortunately couldn't. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we'll to see. Times change, don't they? But hey, the end of the day, we love seeing you back in victory lane. Some things change, yet some things do stay the same on your end. Would you like to say anything to these viewers back at home? Uh, yeah, big shout out to any of the, if I still have any fans out there, big shout out to them and just uh, thanks to everybody for watching them. Someone was talking about this being the most exciting Ethan Stanley win. Obviously, that's a joke. But, wow, it was a lot of fun to see what you're able to do. IndyCar, do you consider yourself a big IndyCar fan? 
Um, I'm I'm a fan of IndyCar. I mean, I run an IndyCar league every week, and uh, so I usually keep up with this car a little bit. But um, definitely still more of a NASCAR folks guy myself. But what but, made uh, IndyCar's great? But what made the difference? I mean, it seemed like you were so much more confident here. Like you're able to take the inches that were on the track and get the runs off. Like you were inches off every wall. Every other driver is kind of tiptoeing. They're worried about wrecking their car. Where did you build that confidence? I just love Long Beach. I mean, I've run Long Beach plenty of times. Wow. Uh, plenty of times here as well. Just uh, just know the track pretty well. Just, I love street courses, really. That is amazing. Well, we're excited to see what's next for you indeed. But heck of a win, my man. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, John. Ladies and gentlemen, we are heading to now race number three of the night it'll be back on the oval session is up password is idk that was ethan stanley ladies and gentlemen and we're ready to go ahead and rock and roll a lot of changes coming to the youtube channel but happy changes nothing worrisome should you say obviously the first iteration of in-person broadcast to the power of youtube shorts uh, I will not have the Racing America broadcast on, obviously, for you guys. But for the ones that are wondering how it's all going to work, I'm going to continue to explain it because I'd love to see you all come on out. Session's up once again. Password is IDK. It will be this phone right here and this tripod mounted up in the corner of the booth at the Nashville Fairground Speedway. Myself, John Ramos, alongside John Nix, will be calling the action for the Pro Late Models, and it will be a heck of of a show it's gonna be so much fun this is gonna be a very historical year this is exactly how it's gonna be mounted up a very historical year for the racetrack 120 years of racing race one will be 120 laps i think it's going up against nascar not exactly sure but it'll be a sunday race sunday afternoon and we hope you all tune on in maybe it'll be into the sunset if it's an into the sunset race it'll be awesome eric w gifting five memberships uh, ethan nascar uh, drop the $2 super chat saying bye guys have a great night you have a great night thank you so much for supporting the YouTube channel I'm excited honestly been tinkering around with the setups to make sure everything works well James Mass dropped down the five Snow dropped down the gift the memberships you guys are amazing also this Friday I know it is good Friday but we will be racing once again that will be NASCAR action as we get ready to gear up for the next e-ticket event, the Alabama 500, ladies and gentlemen. NR9 America feeling victories all year long. Am I excited about Nashville? Yes, I cannot wait. I'm excited about Bristol. I will not be doing the Bristol broadcast through the Power YouTube short, sadly. Oh, actually, let me pull that back. I might be doing that. It's three races, though. That's the big thing. And we have to, like, no, I don't think we'll be able to do it. The only way I would be able to do it is if I called the Midwest Modified Race, which I don't think I'll be able to do. So, most likely Bristol will only be on Racing America for myself, and at Nashville, that will all be live for you all. So yes, the Power 5 Championship will be this Friday night. I'll be releasing the Power 5 Championship tonight, but who is where and what and how and what could change so keep that all in mind. It should be exciting. Very, very exciting. I think we've got a lot of drivers that are tightly packed together and one race could make the difference. So the Power 5 Championship will be this Friday night at 80 Stern, 7 Central. Rolling into Gateway, round number three. This is 50 laps on the schedule. We'll see race number four at the conclusion of this race, which will be very exciting as well. You hear that? That's Cars on Track updating the camera angles sure they're up to the specs that we like and we will be ready to roll so overlays are going on as well as we get ready to go green camera this is a quick update with how they all look i'm excited man gateway is always a fun track to go ahead and watch in person a night race at gateway though When's the last time we've done a night race and, uh, in Edward Night in America? I mean, I would say most recently. We must, we must have had one for sure. We've been doing a lot more day races, mainly because I just enjoy broadcasting the races in the day. Let's get ready to go green. 
looking, peeking, checking everything out, making sure the cameras are up to standard so we can go race, or so we can be race ready, should I say. Moss Stellar rolling around. Back across the start finish line. For the ones that don't know, yes, I do update every camera angle. Every camera angle is custom. And I haven't done Gateway Oval in quite some time as for NR Night in America. We haven't been able to host it. So this is the perfect opportunity to get all that situated. Well, let's do it. We're heading track side here in just a moment. And we'll be ready to go green flag racing. Qualifying getting ready to go underway. One more look at the overlays. One more look at the camera angles. I saw something I really did not like. Would not be surprised about it. And we found it. And it is fixed. Ladies and gentlemen, time to qualify from Gateway. Now, usually you don't get too many drivers to race at this track. Gateway isn't the most popular track for NR Night in America. But you still want to visit it at some point because it does show off a lot of great things. Walker, Yahir Rodriguez, Drake Berry, ready to go green. The night time very much is the right time. Page, James Thurston. Ready to go green. Anthony Burroughs joins the show. One of the drivers out there in the Midwest. Beautiful number 62 machine. River Page. Joseph Armstrong. Joe rolling around this track. Hasn't seen a win tonight, but we'll be looking for one nonetheless. Joe down off exit, Robin Rowling, Jay Schaefer, Ash Ridge. And after this, we go to Road America for race number four. Less than 100 likes for 300. Will we be able to do it? That's the real question. Rowling, Mosteller, Kerry Rogers. Most to the line. Three minutes remaining. James Thurston. Jay Schaefer. Kendall Carpenter back on the racing surface. Two minutes remaining. One thirty left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Aiden Walker, top of the board. Let's get ready to go green. River Page.
after this, we go to Road America, ladies and gentlemen. After so many of you have voted for a night race, it is here and ready to go on live on the IDK Player YouTube channel. So glad to have you all hanging out with us. At some point, we'll get GT racing on the move. But until then, it's all about here and now. Who's going to win from Gateway? We got the one to go this time by. Marty Shamela. Lines up and ready to go green. So lined up and ready to go green, Drake Barry, Aiden Walker, and Marty Shamela have lined up as we get ready to run the dice, or run the table, should we say, and roll the dice. 50 laps of action, 50 laps of opportunity will be on full display once again. Time to go green. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and say those magical words. God, speed, drivers, you are go for a throttle up. Welcome to Gateway. Welcome to race number three as we get ready to ride. Stanley on the outside. Fifty laps of action, no overtime. When we mean fifty, we mean fifty. Time to go green. So from Indiana to the Port of Long Beach and now to St. Louis. And our night in America taking IndyCar everywhere we go. 50 laps, a sprint race indeed. So without further ado, let's go after it and light the fuse from Gateway. Three wide, River Page on the outside. Joel Burrows. Burrows all the way to the bottom of Thurston. It's tight, got Schaefer. Right in the middle of it. Can't get back to the start finish line. Aiden Walker leads lap one. Stanley on the bottom. No runoff. Three wide. Shamela. We thought about it, just got arrow blocked. Armstrong way up the track. In the middle of three and four. Walker gets another. Man, that outside lane is so good coming down off exit. It is so strong. Oh, he's in the wall. He's up and into the outside wall. Aiden Walker was battling for the lead. And just like that, pow, see ya. Didn't go fully around. But a lot of damage to that right front. Joseph Armstrong, Ethan Stanley. The new fight for the top spot. Wow, he just lost the rear end on entry. Most on the bottom. Page on the inside as well. Here comes Stanley with the move. Oh, Joe missed the shift big time. And allows Stan to jump to that outside lane. Shamela, Page, and Mosteller. 
All under a blanket, fighting it out. Let's see what y'all think of race number four. Do you want Road America or do you want Auto Club? Spin, turn one. Schaefer and company involved, caution's gonna wave. And that was Drake Barry. That got a piece of it. River Page. A lot of damage to that 24, he's done. Chad Hornish gets through, Kendall Carpenter gets through. Thurston, Jordan, Herring, David Joyner. What happened? How did it happen? Let's see. Maybe racing up front. Jay Schaefer. Where was he going? I just drove right in the back end of him. We talked about the lack of respect that 99 has. We told him he's on thin ice. It's right in the back of those guys and brings out the caution. Pit road, it's wide open. Ethan Stanley electing to stay out. Joseph Armstrong, Marty Shamela, Zachary Trull, they're down and in. Let's go with a dial up the driver. Always fun to hear and speak with different guys. Let's go hear what Demos has to say. Involved in that interesting incident. Demos, is a John, you got a copy? Yeah. Uh, involved in, well, you're involved in a couple of incidents. I was originally going to say Long Beach, but you also can bring up Indianapolis, and now here you are at Gateway. How's your night been? It's got to be frustrating. Absolutely. I got like a black cloud above my head. I used all my luck up at Gateway last stream, and now it's just, I can't, I can't even make it. Like, I think I've completed four few laps this stream. I didn't really? even make it past turn. I didn't even make it past turn one at Indy. It's just ridiculous, man. It's really well, Indy saw a good race towards the end. It's, the starts have been troublesome. We saw the Gavin Austin incident. What's your take on it? Uh, he came out of the pits and uh, raced me. He, uh, I thought he was faster because, uh, you know, he's saving a little bit of fuel. And, uh, we can't hear a word you're saying. You're speaking so far on your breath. Yeah. Uh, he just lost it in front of me, man. That's it. No. That's, that's, that's literally all that happened. I'm, I'm too bad to even speak on it. It's just, it's odd, really frustrated right now. I see, that's how it is. Well, you're sitting in fourth. Opportunity here. You just won at Gateway recently, and that was on the road course. So we're back, this time on the Oval. This track is not very popular with NR9 and American viewers and drivers. Why is that? Uh, it, I don't know. It's uh, kind of a wacky track. Uh, don't really use it often, so I mean, you really can't get an opinion on it from the drivers. I mean, by the way, I mean, it's barely used in official races too, so. That is true. And yeah, so that definitely uh, plays a uh, part in it. Well, we're getting ready to go back green. Good luck. Thank you. 41 laps to go from Gateway, ladies and gentlemen. Marty Shamela, Ethan Stanley, they roll down off thanks and we're back underway. Demos before Shamela in second. Jewel Armstrong Burroughs, Ash Ridge, Harry Rogers, David Joyner. Carpenter the inside, East on the outside. Well, what's Joe gonna do? I think he's got a really tough car. And it really makes something work, 40 to go. 
Trull in third. Two wins in NR9 in America. Both have come on ovals with the IndyCars. What's next? Well, maybe a third win. But 39 laps to go to decide it. Most in fourth. Shamela in second. Joyner, Rogers, Carpenter, Herring. East also back there in 12. Rodriguez, Workman. Cornish, last driver on the lead lap. Now that incident. So they got a lot of strong guys. And how about Chase Schaefer overdriving turn one? Drew in third, Mosteller in fourth. Marty Shamal in second. One second back now to Ethan Stanley. That's not that huge 16 second advantage Stan had before. But it's definitely an area that Marty can make up time if he elects to do so. 9 6 the difference. Drew in third. Now they're clocking nearly 200 down into turn three. Off exit. Trull well over 200 entering turn one. Shamela's closed in. It's got down to an eight. But can he maintain the pace lap after lap? To a seven eight. He's trying to go wheel to wheel with Stanley, and that's exactly really, uh, that's exactly what Zachary Trull is going to need if he wants to go ahead and possibly fight for this win. I think Mosteller and Armstrong can also really much benefit from that switch if Shamela and Stanley do happen to go side by side. That's lap for lap. Shamela has not left the top four at all. Eight the difference between first and second. Burrows in six. He's also closed on in. This is 13. Forcing himself to make something roll. 34 laps remaining. Mosteller in fourth. One seven back. Armstrong, Burroughs, Rogers, and Ridge. Seventh and eighth. Carpenter, East, ninth and tenth. Eight three the difference. Battle for third. Shifted down the fifth. Gateway, the track is pretty much shaped like an egg, and you would say the same for Darlington, but this track is nothing like Darlington at all when it comes down to where the racing grooves are, the only oval on the NASCAR Cup Series calendar that features rumble strips in the middle of the corners. Most to the inside of Troll. Troll the power block. Trying to keep that 87 behind him. Seven the difference for Marty Shamela. He's closing in big time there to Ethan Stanley. Thirty-one laps to go. Burrows in six, Ridge in seventh. Rogers, Carpenter, East, Joyner, Rodriguez, Cody Workman. Seven the difference for Marty Shamela. He's fast, how about very fast. Catching Stanley and passing Stanley have proven to be two different things. But Zachary Trull has even closed in. He's down under a second. Back to a 1-3. Joseph Armstrong, 1-6, 29 to go. Twenty-eight, half a second, first and second. Mosteller, Truel knows the tail. Now we're about to have a classic here at Gateway if this race goes green all the way through. And we still have one more race guaranteed on the night. We're open to changing it to Auto Club. 
The reason why, we want driver count to be a lot higher. We know Auto Club usually brings in a great driver count. Road America's done very well, but at the same time, it's totally what, up to whatever you all think. Both would still be a new car track combo. Let's run on the board of Joe. Armstrong Mosteller knows the tail. Shamela losing time. Was the seven back to a six. And you talked about it. Everyone's talked about it. How aero dependent this racetrack has become. Six the difference. First and second. Troll. Well, he's trying to get under that second, and Moss Deller is really just sitting there with about a 1 3 back. 25 laps to go. The speeds have dropped off just a tad. Nothing crazy. He saw Joe 202. Runs wide to get the drive on in. It's still 25 laps to go. There is time to figure it all out. They're running 24 second lap times. For Marty Shamela, he knows this. And so does Ethan Stanley. But only four the difference between the top two. Something's about to happen in a quick hurry. They got down to a three entering turn one. Joe in fifth, Burroughs in six. Switch up, Harry Rogers and Ass Ridge. That's seventh and eighth. Mostella P4. Auto Club does have lines, so it would be a night race. If we do race number four at the Auto Club Speedway, but America would be in the day. 23 to go. He's got a shot, and it is a big shot for the Marty Shamela team. Big drive down off banks, and he's right in that toe of Ethan Stanley. And for the first time in two races, Stanley's going to have some type of pressure for the win. And he's arrow pushing big time up the track. Not a lot of speed is being generated out of that 91, but Zachary Truel is sitting there, six, five back. 21 laps remaining. Mosteller loads in. One and change back. Joseph Armstrong, same boat. Anthony Burroughs, same boat. Two the difference. I'm telling you, if Marty Shamela goes wheel to wheel, Ethan Stanley is going to have a lot more competitors going for this win. 20 remaining from Gateway. Look to the bottom. Stanley goes wide to defend and gets the drive off exit. Marty forced to go back, nose to tail. Drew in third, Mostella in fourth. Armstrong in fifth, Burroughs in sixth. Wheel to wheel for position. Marty the lunge. Stanley holds it tough on the outside. He's thinking about going up there. Oh man, really big wobble. Out of that 39, but it's right to the rear. Looks inside, Trolls on the scene, he's four back. Stanley continues to defend, but that's off one car. What about two? Dog fighting gateway. Shamela to the bottom. Stanley on the outside. Troll three back and closing. Mostella under a second and Joe with some change. Sixteen to go this time. Just the speed he carries off, but he's got to keep that 91 at bay. I'd say trying to even just force him wide. Hard entry on the bottom. Stan Lee, another runoff exit. He's got to squeeze him up. That's what's going to happen. And one and two, Marty has got to hang tough with that 91 machine. Look at Stan just shut the door on the bottom. 
He wants the 39 to get Arrow loose. But Marty continues to deal down on the inside. Four drivers under a 7-2, five drivers under a second. Here comes Anthony Burroughs, making a second and a half between the top six. Marty downstairs. He's got to squeeze Stanley in one and two. If he does not squeeze Stanley, the 91's gonna make the outside work perfectly every single time and you see it there. Surprise just hasn't gone for that squeeze. This Jules on the scene. He's ready to strike. Or what if Marty just stay nose the tail in one and two and makes something work in three and four? He's clearly better on that part of the racetrack. Stanley hangs top top. Marty no squeeze, but they stay wheel to wheel. Stanley got loose big time off two. Marty Shamela, the one to the bottom, wiggles the rear end, looks it in. New race leader from Gateway. Now Stan's gonna go to the bottom. Marty has to use that outside lane to his advantage. Stanley won't cover. Troll on the scene. 12 to go. Troll in second. Two seven backs, sticks on the board. Now Ethan Stanley's thinking about going back to that outside lane. Can Zachary Chul make it three wins? Three back. Stanley ripping top. He's got a better run on Chul every single time, and these two have not been able to close in to Shamela. I think Stanley believes he is still the driver to beat. Makes the bottom lane work. We've seen it consistently in the hand of three and four. You get the inside rolling, you make the outside work down to one and two. Three the difference, and Ethan Stanley will not go quietly into the night. Same with Joe, same with Mose. Nine to go, eight to go this time on. Hey now. This is not over. Joe to the bottom. Drew to the outside. Oh, outside wall. Zachary Drew slams it tough. Harry Rogers gets through. And victory will not happen in Gateway for the driver of the 18. No caution, he'll be able to limit it back to pit road. Stanley has no quit in him. Six the difference. Joe in tow. Seven to go. He's got to make up at least eight one thousandths a lap. Eight one hundredths, should we say. Eight one hundredths a lap. If he can do that, he'll be on the doorstep for a last lap move. He's beating that. Now, now I may just be, he may, he may just need now 500s. A tenth a lap, he's in business. It means he would have at least three laps to make the move on Marty Shamela. The speed out of the 91. Four to go this time by. It's two back, he's on the scene. But as previously mentioned, catching and passing, two different things, the top two's in the wall. Oh man, they lost a lot of time. Joseph Armstrong closing in. What's the damage like for Marty Shamela? What's the damage like for Ethan Stanley? Both fight on for the lead to turn one. Joseph Armstrong makes it a three-car clash. 
Marty Tott, Stanley in the middle. Armstrong on the bottom. What a move. Joseph Armstrong, new race leader from Gateway. But can Stanley hang tough? I don't think so. Oh, he lost the wing. I race it corrects here. Armstrong to the lead with two to go. Here comes Marsteller. With the top two got the wall, and they just lost all momentum. What a turn of events from St. Louis. Sarika, one to go for the driver of the 22. As Stanley's dropped back big time, only back the six. Mosteller in the second. Shamela will fight it out for the bridesmaid position, but it's all Joseph Armstrong that rolled into three from third and got the top spot. Joseph Armstrong, victorious from Worldwide Technology Raceway. Mosteller second, Shamela third, Burroughs in fourth. How about that? That is just awesome. Amazing. And clearly, you all love oval racing with the IndyCars more than anything. And so do the drivers. Wow. What a race. What a ride. He's going to park on the start finish line. Edo Night in America. Feely victories all year long. Joseph Armstrong, a bold move to take the lead and will find victory lane because of it. Joe, it's the John, you got a copy. Yeah, there That I is awesome it. right there, man. Amazing. From third to first, top two hit the wall, and you were all over it. Uh, yeah, I was. Yeah, I I, uh, I got around Zachary there. Huge neck coat with Zachary, so that stinks. Um, yeah, I was just kind of out of my time there in like fifth, and then around 15 to go, we started to kind of charge, and um, those guys were mirror driving the hell out of each other up there. And I knew Stanley was on older tires or a few lap older tires, and uh, the driver kind of keep me in it. Then Marty hit the wall, I think, uh, in the middle of one and two. They got side by side, and I got a huge run down the back on them, and made the the Jimmy Johnson move into three once again, and uh, came off a of four. And, and at that point, it was just kind of protect. I forgot to shift in the in the sixth gear, and that's kind of I think with how Stanley ended up driving through the back of me and hurt his he 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 ruined his car. But at the end of the day, I got redemption from or redemption. I wouldn't say redemption, but you know I, I gave one up last time we raced here in the trucks. So uh, glad I could get one this time. That was what? Uh, wait, hold on. Was that on the oval? Well, I wasn't on the oval. That but, was the know. road course. Okay. Because I, I know we've course, raced yeah. the trucks here on the oval before. But what is it with Gateway that's not that popular with it? Would you say? Um, well, it's, I would say it was hard to pass. Obviously, I made the pass for the win. Um, but it was just kind of so uh, aero blocky, and that's just kind of how these cars drive. Um, you can. I did find that I was able to kind of create runs. I didn't think I would be able to early in the race, but once I kind of figured out what lines to work and how to maneuver the air, um, it wasn't so bad, but I kind of see, like in three and four, it was tough. It was like, okay, right. you, you, kind of, you kind of had nowhere to go. You had to just run in the same line that the guy in front of you was running. And so um, that's what makes it tough because that's where you really want to set up the passes for at is, is get the run off of four and make it into one but hell i did it the opposite got the run off of two and made it work off of four so 
Got to yeah. go ahead and ask you this question. Well, there's a good chance we're not getting race number five tonight because tonight was really about hardcore viewers and trying something different, right? IndyCar night, we haven't done it since January. We brought it back. We do believe we can do an Indy e-ticket come May. We have the sponsorships lined up without any problems, but what do you feel about tonight? All IndyCar, something that we haven't really done, I think, ever, actually, because even when we did IndyCar night, we still threw NASCAR in there. How do you feel about this? Uh, I mean, yeah, I think it's fun. I like I liked Long Beach, even though I didn't get to um, kind of like run it, like you know, competitively. It was still a good time. Um, I didn't I missed Indy, didn't get to really watch Indy, but um, I mean, I'm fine. I like that it's a little switch up from like the normal. DW12s uh, or were... IR15s for Auto Club or IR18s for Auto Club? Sorry. Um, well, I don't know. I don't even know if I own the DW12 unless it's Isn't free. Is it DW12 free? I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure Maybe it's it free. Is. If it is, then I have it, obviously, but. Well, originally uh, I was looking at IRO5s, but they don't have a setup at all. Wait, are we doing Auto Club Race 4? Yeah, it got moved. Uh, what? Viewers vote for it. They voted for it. No, 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 Well, you still no. swayed the vote, but it's not looking likely. No, we want Ro Road America. Well, I guess the Auto Club is kind of. Well, with us with moving like... Road America, well, I mean, with us moving Road America, we're doing Road America soon again, obviously, because we still got to go back there with the Gen Six and have a clean race this time. Because we know everyone has the Cup car for the Gen Six, and they, a lot of them got auto, uh, Road America, should we say, for that combo. So we're gonna do Road America soon, but it's looking like it's not gonna be tonight. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess you just do the. Uh... I mean, I'd say do the IO. IR18s 18. or DW12s, because I don't think we're going to be getting race five nights, so this could be the last race, and it'll be like 30, be about 30 laps. I wouldn't mind the 18. Let's I think it's see. cooler. It's better looking anyways. That is true. I remember when it first dropped, I did like the DW12, but I like it with the big wing. Not like the, the pod wing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but no, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. He has no idea what I'm talking about. But hey, it's an exciting e-ticket event coming up. A lot of great things. What are you excited for in NR Night in America? Um, me winning. Me what? winning and me winning. Consistently um, winning? That's your thing? Yeah, you know. It's been a good year so far. It has. Power yeah. 5 Championship. We'll be coming out this Friday. We'll be releasing all the stats tonight. I will. I know I've kept that from people because I don't want to hear people arguing why they're not in a spot they don't want to be. But it's going to be fun, Joe, to see what you've got heading into Friday. Uh, yeah. Good Friday, should we say, also. We will not be streaming next Sunday or this Sunday. Next week, we're probably going to go Monday, Tuesday. Because I will not be here next week, Friday. I'll be in Bristol calling the race, which well, will be Saturday. Well, but i got to be there I mean, early. Power 5 championship. Yeah, you said that's Friday. Well, yeah, I'll be there for race 2. So it looks to be IR 18. So you're, I think you just swayed that vote. Yeah, good. <laughs> cool, I guess. I don't know. Well, it's gonna be I a lot just of drive the car. You just drive the car and nothing else? Yeah. What has been the most favorable moment tonight for you? Tonight for me? Yeah. Well, I've only run, obviously I just won, so. Did you watch the broadcast at all? For this race? No, for a well, no, I was work. Races. I was at work, I was working. So I wasn't really able to watch the first race. Um, race two, like I said, race two was fun. Like I really enjoy like Long Beach, um, even though I'm not really like the best at it. Uh, me and Cody Workman and Sh and Chase Sh Schaefer and, and a few other guys had a really fun battle in the back half of the top ten there. And so that's probably my favorite moment of the night, As aside from obviously winning Gateway. Well, good there news. Go. Session is up. Passwords ID K Joe. We're gonna let you go. Can't wait to see what you got for the rest of the night. Good luck. All right, thank you. That's Joseph Armstrong, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready to ride just once more, it looks like, unless we had 300 likes. But right now, this looks to be the final race of the night. We'll be back Friday, 80 to 7 Central. We'll be back with NASCAR Racing. IndyCar, I've had a lot of fun with it. Hopefully, you all have enjoyed it as well. Auto Club, it's up next. Oh man, we are gonna have an April Fool's stream if we stream on um, if we stream on Monday. That's right. Sounds interesting.
I'm excited for that. I am really, really excited for that. So we'll go Monday, April Fools, Tuesday stream as well. No stream Wednesday or Thursday. I'll be heading to Bristol and getting ready for the last couple of streams before the e-ticket. Also have a lot of things to look forward to because I'm going from Bristol calling that race. I believe it's three street stock races. There'll be an A main, B main, C main, and then head to Nashville the next day, call all the local races and live stream the pro late model race as well. So going to be a lot of fun, going to be exciting. Hopefully you guys do tune in. It will be on the YouTube channel, the Nashville side. And if you want to watch the actual broadcast, it'll be on Racing America. I believe parts of it will be through Tubi TV. Maybe even Roku TV as well. And obviously Track TV. Good amount of drivers. Good amount of drivers here to go racing from Auto Club, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get ready to go green. Time to rock and roll. Hunter East. Hector Colazzo, Ethan Stanley, Ethan DeWell, Moss Stedler, Connor Zola, Cody Workman, Chase George, Chad Hornish, and so many others. Let's get ready to roll out once more. Early night, yes it is. Very early night. But Indy car racing usually has quicker races than the stock car side. We'll get ready to ride out again. Kerry Rogers has come pretty close recently in NR Night in America. I wonder if things will strike the way they need to for him to find victory lane. Session is up. Pass for design again. Final race to go. And we're going to go trackside as we go green. Gentry, River Page. Lined up and ready to go. Joseph Armstrong. Can he go back to back? Only time will tell as we get ready to rock at it once again. Fun night of racing and we head out west to the Auto Club Speedway that has now really just technically made the front to have its short track specialty started. Joel Walker, Zachary Steely, Zachary Truel, Kerry Rogers. Paige Bomar, Thurnquist, Armstrong, James Thurston, Kendall Carpenter. Ash Ridge, Marty Shamela. Joseph Armstrong. Let's get ready to roll. Kendall Carpenter. Lucio Marquez Ramos. Marty Shamela. James U. Star, Ethan Stanley. Let's go down the driver. We talked to Demos. We have not talked to Champ. Let's go ahead and hear what uh, Champ's got to say. Hey, Champ, it's a John. You got a copy? Are you still streaming? I am still streaming. Hi, what's up? Have you been watching the stream? I caught most of Indy. I saw the end of it. What's your opinion on the um, Gavin Austin uh, situation at Long Beach? Yeah, oh, what did he do? Oh, you didn't see it. 
No, you were in the chat with him. I could have sworn you saw it. That's why I was going to have you come in here and talk about it. Uh, I have no idea. All he said is that uh, Demos is very angry with him. Yeah, so he, uh, he performed a pit strategy of undercutting. He got out on cold tires, went out oh, in boy. front of the leader, or, well, in front of Demos in second, and let's just say he ended Demos' race. Oh, yeah, that'll happen. So you watched Indy. Do you think Indianapolis is worth any ticket about? 110%. What would you think of the race from a viewer standpoint? Entertaining, exciting, start to finish. The finish was kind of... It was a one-lap shootout. Yeah, but... You weren't uh, too happy with the winner? Oh, you definitely were not too happy about the winner. I mean, no, I'm, I'm fine with first in winning. I just... I, I don't know. It, it, not it's just the one-lap like, shootouts. Yeah, now that now that I'm not now that I'm not racing, and I can actually take it back from an entertainment standpoint. Uh, the one lap shootout was definitely something, but I, as a I, driver, you'd probably be. Well, I, another I, thing was driver, the controversy. Would have uh, Justin Champagne been L1 for uh, hitting the Cooper Phillips driver? Uh, he did, and that was going to be the next controversy. So. Uh, the admins up in the tower had two decisions to make. It was either L1 Champagne races official, or oh, no. one to go it and see what happens. Yeah, one one lap shit I would have been. Would have been a lot better. Uh, it's always very interesting to hear what you've got to say. NR Night in America has had a, a variety of different changes. You're definitely watching now more from a viewer's standpoint. What's your opinion on all these different car track combos and really a lot of different things going on? Uh, I enjoy it. The drivers, I talked to them, they said they really like the challenges of new things they've never done before. Uh, looks fun. Wish I could get behind the wheel and get at it, but can't really, can't really uh, do it myself. Yeah, after that big injury, uh, it's really unfortunate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, it was very, totally the for the ones that don't know, Frank DeAngelis, uh, a big injury for him has uh, had him out of better night just for a little bit, but we do hope you do feel better, and hopefully uh, uh -huh. when you do come back, you mm -hmm. know, you'll be uh, ready to get back to uh, the racing action when you get yeah, put the, back uh, together, you know? Yeah, the, 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 eye, the eye injury, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was just, just, yeah. Just, just, just to clarify, I'm not actually hurt. The only thing that hurt, the only thing that's hurt, is my bank account. So I can't really afford the 15 whatever dollars a month this game provides. So I'm just taking a little break, gonna get my money up, not my funny up. I'll be back. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Well, you got new things going on. You know, we've been dialing into drivers' uh, personal life. What is, what is some fun things going on for Frank DeAngelis that you would like the viewers to know about? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's half what's going on with me and half the product placement. Uh, if you're just tired and you just want you want really good die casts at a really good affordable price, go on over to Frankie's underscore die cast on eBay. I'm gonna look that uh, up can, right now. I'm gonna look. I, I want to see what prices you have these die casts. At. I, can, I, I got some up for good good deals. I need to see this. I, I kind of want to do it on stream. Let's Bye go see. It, what is it again? Frankie's underscore diecast? Underscore diecast. Frankie's, like with a, a Y or an I, IES? IES. Okay. IES. I don't have that many. I don't have that many up right now. I was okay. just, for the past hour or so, like 8 to Can I just look it up under search? Frankie's. Should be able to. Underscore diecast? Yeah, I got that going for me. Uh, for anybody in the New Jersey area, uh, I. Uh, there's a swap meet coming up, a lot of swap meets, flea markets, that's what I'm doing with my time. You have time. a 100% can... positive feedback. Is it a uh, Shelton Green <laughs> as your profile photo? Of course it is. All right, let's look at these prices. You know, they're actually not that bad. The 2004 Casey Kane one is pretty cool. For 25 bucks, the Great Clips car. Yes. That is sweet. Uh, and this, gonna... is not, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm this is not. Sure. I'm just actually genuinely curious. Any wings... Yeah, I sent you all the pictures months ago. Did you that's get the I... Booberry car? No, that's way too expensive. Oh, I dude, I, I'm telling you, if I somehow get my hands on the Booberry car, I may cry. <laughs> like, that car is so cool. Like, that is not my new mission. Growing up, my mission was to get Tony Stewart's flame car with the wing, and I finally got over COVID for this crazy, like, good price. And now the Booberry car. We need the diecast market to crash. Yeah. 
that actually be really dumb because a lot of people have small businesses with it. Yeah, I was going to say this. this that's definitely not. Let's not hope for that. But as a consumer, it would be pretty cool. But as a value, actually, let's not because I got some valuable diecasts too. For the people listening, this is not a paid advertisement. I'm going to be truthfully honest. I just want the, the amount of space these things are taking up in my basement and in my room. I need them gone. So if you're watching this, in the next week or so, I'm going to put about two dozen more, three dozen more up. If you send me an offer, temp, at least 10% off and say NR night, anything relating to NR. I like that. Anything, 10% 10, 10 off automatic, 10, 15% off, depending on how much it you is. You hear that? It's Frankie's underscore diecast, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just Frank, we're pulling off. We're going to have to go here. But, hey, that's an awesome deal. You're mid -race. We're about to be mid-race. Oh, Let's bad. light the fuse from Auto Club. <laughs> he didn't know. A good old God speed in the race and down to turn one. Walker, Newell, Carpenter, Page, Bomar, Zola, Thurston, Yusuf Rodriguez, three wide. Hanging tough, stuck in the middle, Ethan Stanley. Joseph Armstrong in fifth. Ethan Stanley in fourth. Absolutely just stuck in a pack. And they have to worry big time because it takes one slip up at any of these guys. And you can just bring the scorecards out. Oh, trouble, Kendall Carpenter. River Page, Ash Ridge, involved in the caution's gonna wave. And just like that, we're back under the yellow. And the ones that I just saw in the comments section, some of you guys are talking about a multi-class race at the North Slime. We're looking at holding a truck race at the North Life either after the either after the Alabama 500 or on April Fool's Day for an e-ticket event that Monday night. Not an e-ticket, sorry, community event that Monday night. Well, Auto Club just struck, and I don't think very many people are holding back. Let's see. Oh, Kendall Parker. Just took the camera out. Hopping and jumping. Uh, that'll do it. Connor Zola. Let's watch from his view. Carpenter the 98. I think it was his fault, and I believe he's already out of this race, obviously. With the extent of the damage, saw Demos went for a slide on the apron. Marty Shamela, they weren't given any room there to Kendall Carpenter. Is he at fault? Most definitely. Was it avoidable from other drivers? Absolutely. And just like that, we are pacing once again at the Auto Club Speedway. So, gosh, it is out. And we will get ready to see Gosh is out. We'll get ready to see uh, a restart shortly. With all these drivers left remaining, pit road, it, it seems dense from about 19th on back. James Thurston, Mosteller, Yahir Rodriguez, Cody Workman, Hunter East is in as well. Ethan Stanley, you see the extent of the damage. The driver that absolutely dominated Long Beach, Ethan DeWeld, he's on pit road as well. 27 laps to go. We get the one to go here. And no doubt about it, Zachary Truel is the one you got to keep an eye out for. Two wins in NR Night in America on an oval, on an oval with an open wheel machine. And where is he sitting right now? First at the Auto Club speed. Let's get ready for a restart. 27 laps to go will be 26 laps to go and in the meantime we sit back we relax we get ready to let them all off and as you all know with the indy cars you don't have to start in the restart zone second pulls off you had to turn four 
Leader has full control back underway from Southern California. Twenty six to go. Drew on the bottom, Joe on the outside. Shamela three wide. Shamela almost had it at the line. They're going to give it the tool with 25 to go. Now look now, but Joseph Armstrong's waiting and looking with a little bit of a peek. Three wide, four wide, Bomar up the gun. David Joyner in six. Hornis to the outside. Joe on the flat. He doesn't go around. Mosteller did just a couple laps earlier from that move. And they're already back to that four wide sequence. Demos a slide, keeps it going. He's back in 19. Nathan Scott waiting back, knowing that he doesn't need to be up there as of this moment. Worried about the climate of what's brewing from first to maybe 10. 16 drivers under a second. 23 to go. Shamela in fifth riding on. Joseph Armstrong in tenth riding on. Bomar outside. Oh, that's tight, coming off exit. Hornis, Steely, stuck right in the red zone. Zare, Rodriguez, looked on laying on each other. Oh, one in the wall, and up into the outside. That was Cody Workman. Chad Thornquist may have also gotten a piece of it. Couple cars go for a slide, we stay green. What's the move? What's the game plan? Rogers the fourth, four wide for second. Hornets to eighth, not a lot of places to run. Looking, peeking, Hornets on the inside. Truel in second. Joe stuck in the middle. He wants to get to the bottom. There's going to be no opening. 20 to go. What you have is what you have. 14 drivers under a second. James Thurston looking for a move. Jackson Brown. Rex Rowe. What's the move for Yahir Rodriguez? Wants to consistently get back on that inside. Now you can go down that flat, but if you wreck it, uh, anyone doing so, you're out of the race. Huge wreck in turn two. Caution's gonna wave. James Bomar and Christian Zari all involved. Look at the damage on the right front. the outside wall. Let's watch back and see what happened. Three 
wide, four wide. The big thing is, in IndyCar, after Kendall Carpenter went below the L line to win, or below a solid line to win a race at Michigan in the IndyCars, every driver said, we need to enforce it on all ovals. So that's something to really keep in mind. That's Zachary Steely that went down the track and really caused that incident. You can see him there. He's stuck in the middle four wide. I'm guessing he was trying to give room to the 35 on the outside lane. Or let's uh, scratch that. That might be David Jordan, the 85 on the outside lane. What came around, went around, and thrown into the outside wall. Caution is out. With 18 laps remaining from the Auto Club Speedway, Zachary Truel, Yahir Rodriguez, James Thurston, David Joyner, and it was the David Joyner machine that was four wide. With Zachary Steely, things went amiss. Pit roads open. It's a perfect time to hear what some of these guys have to say before we go back green flag racing. Fun night in NR9 in America. Zachary. Truel. It's the John. You got a copy. I almost called you Zachary uh, Steely there for a moment. Zach, it's the John. He is currently muted, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll give him some time. 17 laps to go. Gotcha, in. John. There we go. We got you, my man. How's it going? Good, John. How you doing, man? You're sitting second. Join yourself. You know why I love open wheel racing? The open wheel guys of NR come out and they go out there and let it rip you're one of those drivers let's be honest on an oval intermediate gen 4 we don't see you in the top 10 often but we throw the the jets out there and you're out there going for it no win so far tonight but two and nr on an oval do you most likely end the night here with a win i'm gonna try my best man uh this is uh with the pack race and anything can happen here so the racing here is just really intense i uh, hope we're putting on a good show for the viewers um yeah having having so much fun gonna do what i can uh i i don't know how i'm gonna do it but i'm gonna try my best uh, it's a lot of fun to see uh the pack racing it's daring it's dangerous it's exciting for everyone watching back at home knowing one mistake and what comes around goes around, and so far tonight, it's already gone around. Limited field as most go back down on pit road. How do you attack this? Well, just gonna try to stay in the front. Uh, how do I attack it? They can just keep it low. Um, just find a way to stay ahead of everybody, but much easier said than done. I feel like this is a track where anybody could win, and you know, there's just so much going through my head. I know I'm not great at these interviews, but. Well, hey, you got the best part about it and anything production wise, you get better with more minutes and more seconds on a broadcast because this isn't going to be the last time I'm interviewing. But I'll tell you this, man, 16 laps to go. I think you're the guy to beat. You're going to get 15 left to do it. This race could end in what? Five, six, seven minutes and it's all done. Could be that guy going to Victor Lane. We're excited to see if you can do it and get your third win. All right, thanks, John. Appreciate you. Zachary Troll, ladies and gentlemen. You will restart in that first position. Once again, you heard it there. Let's repeat it. 15 to go on the start. Troll Rodriguez. Hornish is back in fifth. He's looking for his first win in NR Night in America. Rodriguez, Thurston, David Joyner. 15 laps to go. Scott in ninth, Rogers in seventh. Thurston in third on the outside. Oh, contact. Thurston up the track, three wide. Joiner to the outside. Four wide looking, back to three. Fourteen to do it. Hornish. Oh, awfully wide. Trying to make something work. Carrie Rogers. 
joins in for the show. It's going to tight and dicey once again. You got seven guys under a second. Eight, I believe, maybe with a realistic shot. But after countless cautions, this is what's left. Trulin Rodriguez. Thurston and Mosteller. Joyner and Rogers. Hornish and Shamela. 12 to go. Hornish out of the draft, 219. Joiner up to 225. And in Indy, they were cracking 230. David Joyner has not led a single lap tonight. Truel has led most of them. 12 to go. Joyner inside, 222 offensive. Oh, that's tight. What's it gonna be from the Auto Club Speedway? 11 laps to go. Shamela P2, Thurston P3. Roger Scott shuffling and swing. See them back four wide, trying everything they can to keep it pointed. Ten to go. One in the grass, David Joyner. Back on the racing surface, out of the draft. Will need a caution if he wants to win. Thurston in third. Shamela back to that outside, but it's still Zachary True on the bottom. Jackson Brown looking for his first win in our night. Will he have what it takes with nine laps remaining? Rogers in six. Thurston on the way. Finds his way through Drool. Jamela looking brown on the outside. Seven to go this time. You continue to see Shamela peek below that white line. You can go down there, but they don't have to allow you up. Jackson Brown outside, three wide. Thurston inside. Shamela, Mosteller, Rogers. Seven to go. Scott a ninth. Yeah, he's not joining in on the scene. Couple wins in NR9, all have come for the stock car sign. Can Nathan Scott go from ninth to first in six and a half laps? Jackson Brown, three wide top. Looking for his first win in NR9 in America. Drool to the bottom. Thurston in second. Six to go. Three wide, Rodriguez. Rogers looking for a move. Only five laps to go. This race is coming to an end, but it's so tough to find your way around that true machine. Lane two has been tough. Armstrong tonight. 
George Scott, most smooth tough side. Moss down the fourth. What started off as a bleak stream for him. Now he's in position to get his first win of the night. Once again, no overtime. Once they get the three to go, this race is official. Drew Thurston, Shamela, Yahir Rodriguez. Next wreck ends the race. Next flag will most likely end the race. And they know that. What do you do here? Brown, Rogers, Hornish, Yahir Rodriguez, Shamela, and Thurston. No one passing true. I don't think Thurston's gonna go out of line until that last moment. And then it will go off the lights on who's the winner. Three wide, four wide, two to go. Jamela and Hornish. And patience, I think it's wearing out for some. Mostella below the white line. Doesn't get let up, thrown into the grass. On strong line. Wrecking big time outside wall. Nathan Scott Salarenka. One to go from Auto Club. They made it back. Right to the outside wall. Rodriguez. Ass Ridge. Thurston below the white line. Not allowed to come up without wrecking someone. Four wide. This is the race to the checkered flag. Thurston on the flat. Troll on the outside. Zachary Troll victorious from Auto Club. And his third win in NR Night in America. How about that? Well, well, well. What a race, what a finish. So many thought we were not gonna go ahead and see the checkered flag. So many thought it would end under yellow. Zachary Truel victorious, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and we were, we were three likes away. We were just three likes away. Unbelievable. It's all right. Oh, never mind. We refreshed it. We were just one like away, and now we have hit it. We will have a race five, it'll be 20 laps at Daytona with the Indy cars, and that's how this night will end. Let's go in and talk to your race winner. Zachary True, I told you this wasn't gonna be our last interview. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, buddy. Wow, what a race. That was crazy. Well, walk me I, through that because no. it went green to the end. Yeah, I, I'm surprised it did really. Those guys looked like they were racing pretty hard back there, and I was watching for James to go low on the back stretch. And I know it's legal in NR night. Um, so if he would have wrecked you, I... if he would have wrecked you, he would have been disqualified. That's the big thing. And we have it on the super speedways. You, you can't go below the yellow line and wreck someone. If you do. You're out. See ya. And for James Thurston, if he would have got you, he would have been disqualified. But he somehow held it down there the entire time. Yeah, I was just thinking that if I got him to get a little bit of the apron, I'd be able to get a run. And who was that on my outside, Shamela? I'm thinking, oh my God, like they're coming from everywhere. They're coming from uh, the inside, outside. Like, like I said, I felt like it was anybody's race, but. I feel like just keeping it down low the whole time was really the way to go. Um, I'm just, like I said, I'm surprised we didn't crash at the end. And 
you know, huge shout out to everybody that kept it clean. That was a really, really fun race. And all off guys like Thurston and Jamela. Wow, this is so cool, man. It was amazing. I want to tell you this. We hit 300 likes just barely. Ooh. I have a lot of work to do after this stream, getting prepared for e-tickets, the next stream, presenting, getting ready to graduate, and a lot of in-person broadcasts coming up in the next week or so. So we thought, what can we do that will keep people here and that's just exciting enough and just quick enough that I can get things done before I go to bed? And I said, Daytona with the Indy cars. You've never done it. Official has done it multiple times. That's where we're going. What do you think? Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I can't say I'm a huge fan of this. I wouldn't car say I'm excited for it either if I'm a driver, because I know I've raced the official version before. I know how it goes, you know? Yeah. Well, we'll be hauling, hauling you know what, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I could say how much. That's I could gonna say be kind of nerve wracking how quick you all will be going. But we're going to it next. It's this late at night. We've never done this car track combo, and it's since race two, we have done every single Every single car track combo since has been new. It's quick. It's exciting. I'm excited for it. So much to the fact that I just put the session up. Can you win it is the real question. You know, I've run it a few times in official, and I think I've wrecked almost every time except once. But the one time I didn't wreck, I did win. So it's kind of like when you run uh, NASCAR here. You just gotta. I feel like being out front is. We'll go the best 25. We'll go 25. We, we've yeah. never done an official NR race that's less than 25. That is our happy medium. So we're gonna go 25 on that one. Obviously, when we go to a road course like the Norch Life, it's gonna be timed, but 25 laps. I'm kind of worried about it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you know, because I, yeah. I have no idea what to expect. But I think it's gonna be. Exciting for the viewers watching. It's also going to do the one thing. It breaks the curiosity, you know? Is it going to work? Is it not going to work? I mean, tonight, Indy, after turn one, I thought, oh, boy, we're not going to get any racing in tonight. They're not ready for this. And then all of a sudden, it's a great race. I thought Long Beach was going to be a disaster class. I'm going to be honest. When I put it on the schedule, I was like, oh, boy, this is going to be the one where, you know, a first-time winner comes out because 90% of the field wrecked and... Ethan Stanley wins by 16 seconds, a new record on a road course. Because very rarely do we see that. Usually we see exciting finishes all the way back to the checkered flag on road courses. And went to Gateway. Did you see Gateway? How that finish went down? I did, yeah. yeah. I saw... Because uh, the you were there. Wide, <laughs> you were well, racing. I was in the pits because it was really bad net code between me and uh, Armstrong. But uh, Everyone yeah, thought, you know for happen. sure, when Stanley pulled away, it was all over. Doom and gloom. See ya. Bye. Done. And then Joseph Armstrong somehow wins the, the race. You can't tell me that you thought Joe was going to win the race. I had no idea he was going to win. I don't think Joe even knew he was going to win. And he came out of nowhere. Here comes Auto Club. It wasn't supposed to happen tonight. We've never done that car track combo. This was the Road America. We, slept, we thought, man, we didn't have as many people joining Gateway. Let's see if we can bump the numbers up. Going to Auto Club. Fantastic race. Fantastic show. But once again, I don't think... So many thought that it was going to go that smooth. We had a couple of cautions. There were huge wrecks. But did you think as a driver that you were going to get back to the start finish line at all? You know, with uh, the checkered I, flag waving under green? I didn't think you know, so. I thought you guys were wrecking three to go. I thought, I'm just thinking, well, it's, it's do or die, right? Anything could happen because I, I knew, like I said, I knew James was going to go down low and I was just thinking how do I defend that because I felt like I knew he was going to do it but I didn't want anybody to crash either so um, but I feel like uh, the racing has been pretty respectful tonight um, you're right about Long Beach too and I had ran some laps on the old tech track there years ago so really? the fact that I was able to finish third I don't know how I did it hmm. so um yeah, um, it's been a lot of fun tonight, for sure. It um, really has been. Well, oh, it's a night race, too. I didn't change it today. How many drivers joined in? 
a, a decent amount. I think a decent amount for 25. For we, we look pretty good. Well, good luck out there. We're going to get ready to go racing. Final race of the night, Zachary Truel. You'll be looking for his fourth one. Ladies and gentlemen, at track side from Indian, or not Indianapolis, track side from Daytona. But we're going to play a mini game during qualifying, okay? Because I know sometimes late at night qualifying, you don't hear a lot of us talking about what's going on. This is going to be the mini game. You ready? It's going to be all about. It's the mini game where you can't say the same thing as me. You guys know I'm talking about that game where uh, it's been all over Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. You can't say or think the same thing as the other person. They get five responses, and I say, name a state. And if you name the same state as me, you're out. You have five chances. And after those five chances, you will have, uh, you win. You know, let's do 10. No, let's do five. We're going to stick with five. We're, we're definitely sticking with five. So, very simple. I'm going to go through it again. I'm going to give you guys five questions to answer. If you name the same answer as me, you're out. So, uh, an example, name a state. I'm going to give you like five, ten seconds to say the state out loud. If you said Florida, you're out. Something like that. It'll be, it'll be all racing terms and themes. So, five. I want to see how many are going to be left standing by the time that we get ready to go. We're going to go start qualifying. We're going to call this a qualifying game mode for late at night. I really want to do this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Do you guys see how it works? All right, here we go. Ready? Starting with question number one. Name a tire. Mm, no, I was going to say, I was going to say something different. Hold on. Tire manufacturer. Is that the best way? Is that the right way to say it? Name a tire manufacturer. I probably said it wrong. Or a tire developer. Name a tire developer or manufacturer. I'm going to give you five seconds. I already know what I'm saying. You cannot name the same tire manufacturer as me. Once it's locked in, we're going to the next one. Five, four, three, two, one. If you said Goodyear, you're out. See ya. Goodbye. Goodyear was my choice. Number two. Name a NASCAR track. Name a NASCAR track. Maybe 15 seconds. Really got to think about this one. I got so many with good here. Name a NASCAR racetrack. If you said Charlotte, you're out. That's two. You said, Charlotte, you are out. Let's see, number three. I knew so, I knew I was gonna get so much Charlotte for sure. Number three. Name a racing series. Name a racing series. I'm gonna get very few people with this one, in my opinion, because now everyone's like overthinking it. But I know exactly who I'm getting on this one. Give you 10 more seconds. Name a racing series. If you said MX5 Cup, you're out. <laughs> yeah. That's number three, so we're down to number four. All right, I think I'm gonna get some of you guys with this one. Let's see. Ooh. Number four. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Name a state that NASCAR does not run its top three series in. We're gonna give you guys a little bit of time to think about this one. Name a state that NASCAR does not run its top three touring series in. That means there's no race that NASCAR runs at. Or, or name a state that NASCAR does not have an official race at. There you go. That's proper English this late at night. Come on. I'm going to give you guys some time with this one. And the last one, I'm getting everyone. I'm getting everyone on that last one. The last one's gonna be so mean. 
The last one, it's literally just a lottery. Ready? Lock it in. Not looking at the chat. If you said Hawaii, you're out. Oh, I should have got Alaska. I would have got at least three people. If you said Hawaii, you are out. I got a couple people in Hawaii. I got a couple people in Hawaii. That's awesome. All right, last one. You ready? Name a manufacturer in the NASCAR Cup Series. There's only three. So you have the advantage over me, but there's only three. Name a manufacturer in the NASCAR Cup Series. Fifty-five seconds, gotta lock it in. Lock it in. If you said Toyota, you are out. Who beat it? Who beat them all? I could have gone harder. I think I could have gone a lot harder, but I definitely want to do something like this a lot more during qualifying. If you said Toyota, goodbye. See ya. Oh, I got a lot. I got Schmidt with Toyota. I got Schmidt with Toyota. So many expecting me to say Ford. And I know a lot of you guys know me as a Ford fan, so I'm like, I'm not going to say Ford. Toyota. I got Schmidt the last one. Wow. I like that. I like this game mode. I think it's pretty fun. So let's see, some of them are Michelin, IRP, NASCAR, Pinty Series, Ohio, and Ford. Oh no, the, the top three touring series go to Ohio, mid-Ohio, for uh, trucks. They, why are they going this year? They gotta be going this year. Unless they don't go this year, then you're right. That is awesome, I love it. I love it, we gotta continue doing this. Ladies and gentlemen, are you nervous? I guarantee these drivers are nervous. You know, let's play the same game with one driver before we go green. I'm gonna pick one driver out of the bunch and see if we can get them on it. Let's see, let's see, who can I get quickly? Let's see, I kinda wanna get Michael Ford. Let's see. Michael, so John, you're online. Michael, it's so John, you're on a live stream. You are on a live stream right now. I have your, okay, you ready? Three, two, Michael Ford, how's it going? So, so we played a mini game that is, I'm pretty sure you've seen all over your For You page. And I wanna see if you can beat it. You ready? Sure. So the mini game is, I'm gonna say five statements and you can't have the same answer as me. So example. Name a state. No, okay, are you, are you ready? We're gonna go five. You ready? Yep. Everyone down in the chat below, will Michael beat it? Is the real question. All right, let's see. Let's start with the first one. You know what? Name a state. Mississippi. <laughs> You're not supposed to just say it out loud. We have to, we're gonna say it at the same time. And then if it's the same as me, you're out, all right? Okay. Let's try it again. Name a state, ready? Three. Two, one, Mississippi. Arizona. Uh, okay, 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 that's one. Uh, name of manufacturing. Let me know when you got the answer. Name of manufacturer. I got it. Ready? Three, two, one, Chevrolet. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> yeah. All right, you got two. Yeah, beat me three more times. All right. Name a racetrack. I'll give you some time on that. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. Name a racetrack. Think of a racetrack. Does it have to be real? It has to be real. Fine. All right, fine. Name a Mario Kart track. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one. Rainbow Road. Meadows. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Number four. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Name... <laughs> Name a state capital. All right. All right. You got it? 
Yeah. Three, two, one, Tallahassee. Sacramento. Oh, okay, this is it, ready? Name an ice cream flavor. Think about this one. Name an ice cream flavor. All right, I got it. Ready? Three, two, one, cookies and cream. Mint chocolate chip. Oh my God, so, so close. Michael wins, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, Mr. Ford. All right, so back before I say something, I regret. There's Michael, ladies and gentlemen. The one to go, let's go and say those magical words. God, speed, drivers. You are go for throttle up. I was so close. I was gonna say mint chocolate chip, and I was like, not nah, cookies and cream. That was pretty easy for him. I'm not gonna lie. I, I could have gone a lot harder. But we're getting ready to go racing from the World Center of Racing. 29 drivers. Well, trying to do the most daring thing in NR Night in America. Let's light the fuse of the open wheel cars on the Old Lat Daytona. Mostella, Truel, Shamela, Stanley, ripping the one and two. Truel on the bottom, one in the grass, that may be Hornish. Stanley on the bottom. Mostella on the outside. Shamela and company race to the start finish line. Zachary Truel leads lap one. Three wide, all blink at some. One in the outside wall, Lana Gentry and Stockman. Corey Stockman. Will come to rest, we stay green. Burroughs in fourth, Stanley in third, Ridge in second, Vega in eighth, Brandon McKissick in 11th, 23 to go. They're ripping. Anthony Burroughs in fifth, Joyner in sixth, Steely in eighth, Vega. Climbs up the seventh. Burrows in the middle. David Joyner thinking, looking. Burrows stuck middle there with Thurston. You saw tenth. As we know where to go, they're gridlock right now. For some of these guys that are thinking either A, drop way back, or B, stay up front. Tools just run the same strategy he did at Auto Club. <laughs> That's not changing. Run that inside lane, hope it works. I hope you don't get turned. Burrows middle. Twenty-one to go. Thurston on the outside with Stanley. Three wide, three rows deep. Holding, swing. Got one up into that outside wall. Let's dial up Joe. Joe, it's a John, you got a copy. You're back there in 14. This is crazy, it's wild. What are you thinking quickly? Uh, well, right now, I'm trying to hit the back. Like backing up and trying to like time out a run. 20 to go, do you think it goes to the finish? Hell no. <laughs> no, like, you know, like three times. No, it's gonna be fun for it to be yellow, but it's gonna be fun to see. Good luck. 20 lots to go from Daytona and they continue to shuffle out. Marty Shamela, James Yusa towards the back half of the field. McKissick up the fifth. Three wide again this time, two rows deep.
All Zachary Troll, your race leader. Cherry in ninth, Steely in eighth, Stanley in seventh, Ridge in third. Oh, he got one up in the wall. You saw dropping back. He may have been that one machine. Thurston. Running wide. Burroughs still stuck in the middle with very little breathing room. 18 laps to go from Daytona. And Shul continues to knock these laps off down the bottom. He's led seven of the eight. Steely, Vega. What's the speed like, you may ask? Let Brandon McKissick show you 242. Seventeen laps to go, one of the wall. Might have been Steely drops back to eighth. Jamela in 12, riding on board with Aiden Vega. Oh, he's in the wall again. He's got to lift off exit with that much speed in these cars. Really tough to hold on to and clean with all that draft. Ethan Stanley on the outside, three by three. Seventeen. 16, lots to go. Joe on the flat. Up to 11th. He's waiting. He wants to be up there, but he doesn't also want to be up there at the same time. Here's Carlos Truther in the Nickelodeon Chevrolet. Make it a Nickelodeon Honda. To the outside, looking for his first win. Burroughs in the middle. McKissick in the middle. Ridge one in the bottom. Fifteen to go. Cherry, Vega, Truther, Shamela, Yusa, Anshan, Vale. James Thurston has not left the three by three. That's like the craziest part of this entire endeavor and I don't think Zachary Trula has given the lead up within the last 10 laps I think the only lap he did not lead was the first one 14 to go this race has somehow gone caution free multiple drivers single file out of arms way River Page isolated incidents may have happened towards the back half but nothing to worry about. Truth through an 11th. Mostella looking below. Thirteen lots to go from Daytona. Trula down with that inside lane. They have to upset that thing quickly. Once again, there is no overtime. Once the race is official, it's official. No changing whatsoever. Joiner in fifth. Ridge in fourth. Truther in tenth. Mosteller in eleventh. They just hung out on that bottom lane. Lots fading away for the World Center of Racing. 12 to go. Burroughs needing more help. But sure on that bottom, it's gonna be absolutely tough to make something work. McKissick 9, Mosteller in 10. Shamela, Truther, Yusa, Armstrong, Vale. 
11 laps to go from Daytona. McKissick, Cherry, Truther. I'm keeping an eye on Truther up there. He's in an area that if they do wreck, he could avoid it. But you see him backing up. He's wanting to go 235. He's not wanting to go 242. Burrows up there with Truel. Thurston now in the middle, trying to break up that inside lane swing. And the thing is about Zachary Truel is, yes, he's leading so many laps. But Ash Ridge is looking for his first win at NR9. And I guarantee you he has no problem going below that yellow line to somewhat make it work. Ten to go. Burroughs in the middle. Has not left from what we believe. The top two in the last 10 laps, but he worked his way from 23rd to put himself in this position. Nine to go. McKissick, Steely, Mosteller, Truther, Yusa, Vale, Shamela, Lazo. Back in 19. How they have been able to stay three by three for this long is just poetic. Might I remind everyone, this is race five. Drew on the bottom, Burroughs in the middle. Ethan Stanley, he had help, and his help is now saying goodbye. Running out with McKissick. Seven laps to go from Daytona. I think Armstrong's got to think about going. A lot of these other guys back there have got to think about knowing that it's go time. 28 started this race out of 32 that entered. Burroughs in the middle, hanging top. Truel on the bottom, help from Ridge. Truel on the bottom, Burroughs on the outside. Stanley three wide. Six laps to go for the World Center of Racing. And it's just a blockade, everyone's stuck in a jam. Once you get three laps to go, this race is official. Next flag will end the race. Drew and Burroughs, Stanley and Ridge. And they're packing in right now. They know it's go time, all or nothing. Truther in the middle. A move and a prayer. Armstrong on the outside. And all these guys know they're gonna be stuck in a jam. It's gonna be sit with your line and pray when it goes south, you hold on to it. Zachary Steely out of line, and it's gonna be a two by two race. Ethan Stanley's not gonna have a lot of help up there. Four to go. Outside lane, a lifeline. Joseph Armstrong has arrived on the scene. Demos, still stuck in the middle. If this is the race that goes caution free, I will be speechless, but I still don't think they'll get back to that checkered flag under green. Someone is gonna get bold at some point. 
Thurston in the middle. Burroughs in the middle. Trill on the bottom. Three lots to go from Daytona. Joiner looking. He knows he's in a jam, but he can go below that yellow line. As long as he does not cause the yellow, he won't be disqualified. Zachary Truel, three wins in our night, all from the open wheel machines on an oval. Iowa, Nashville, Auto Club, can he add Daytona to that line of a list? Burroughs hanging tough in lane two. It's just been the game of inches. And with two laps to go, this race is official. What happens, happens. True on the bottom. Burroughs in the middle. Lap and a half to go. It's showtime right here. You've got to make something happen. Minus the voice crack. Here we go. Three and four. This race is going to go caution free. Sabaka wants to go from Daytona. Burroughs and Jewel. Wheel to wheel. Thurston bobbing, weaving, down off two. Ash Ridge, Ethan Stanley, contact. Two machines in the grass, one up and into the air. The race to the checkered flag. Ridge on the outside, Troll in the middle. Ethan Stanley. Victorious for Daytona! And a violent, vicious wreck just set the cross of the start finish line. Wow. Caution free. I cannot believe it. Ethan Stanley, his first win on an oval in oh so long, and it comes at the end here at the World Center of Racing. What a stream, what a night. Didn't expect that tonight, didn't you? Race five, that's why you always drop a like on the stream because you'll always get something like this. Truth or fourth, I believe that's a career finish. Armstrong second, Shamela third, how about it? Wild. All the way back to the line. Ladies and gentlemen, this will end our night of Vet Our Night in America. I want to say thank you to everyone that's tuned in, but actually before we do, let's go see that last wreck on the back stretch. Got desperate. This lead at night. Desperation moves. They were calling. Ridge up into Burrows. And then the arguing over space came about. Look at Moss Steller. Look at James Thurston. And then it was the run to the finish. Want to say thank you all so much for hanging out with us in our night in America, feeling victories all year long. I'm John Ramos, the voice of NR. And I'll see you Friday night, Good Friday, at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, for some more great race in action. Feel free to subscribe, notifications on, you won't want to miss a beep. And also subscribe because you won't want to miss a single Pro Late Model broadcast. 
at the Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. The power of YouTube Shorts, that's right. You're gonna see me up in the booth with the co-commentator, John Nix. And we will be having an absolute blast broadcasting it live. That will be, I believe, April 7th. From the in-person broadcast to the simulator. This has been NR Night in America. Have a great night, ladies and gentlemen.